Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and today we have a new, new, new one! It is Mr. Run and Jump for the Atari 2600. The first game by Atari for the 2600. First new game for the Atari from Atari in 30 years. Oh my goodness, and you're saying 30 years? That doesn't make any sense. They've put out tons of games uh, recently on cartridge. They've reissued games. Uh, they've put out um, a bunch of uh, new games that have never been out before. No, those are those are reissues. Those are those are prototypes that never got finished. Those are games that were shelved. Those are reissues of games that already existed. This is the first brand new game that has never been released before, and it is being distributed by Atari. So this is Mr. Run and Jump, and I got this one from Atari, and the media embargo has lifted today. Um, so I'm actually able to play it. Uh, we did an interview with a developer uh, a little while ago, uh, the person who made this game. Uh, let me just bring up uh, by uh, interview with John Mikula from Heavy Horse Games. He was the developer of this game. Uh, we couldn't play it at that time. Well, we interviewed him. It's a very strange situation. But now we can actually play it. Yes, I am by myself today because of timing. Uh, Sprite's here. He's going to help co-host, aren't you? He is not able to play the game, but he's here for moral support. The one that made you all cry some weeks ago. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you can go watch that one. <laughs> Almost cry? Almost made me cry. Yeah, it was pretty close. Uh, but hopefully no crying today. Let's see. Um, but first I would like to, to thank all the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. And I'm wearing my wrong glasses. These are the wrong glasses. Those are my computer glasses for looking at things up close. Oh my goodness, so much better. Uh, a cardboard box, Elnafer, Andrew Atari, Atari 800 XL rules, Atari 974, they're all scrolling gently right here. Atari Age, Beef Supreme, Beer Polka, Buffalo Pinball, Chelsea, Stony Mount, Charles Wheel, Chitlala, Colonel Lama, Cumanism, Cyrano Reboot, Dan ABC, Drexel, Dark Moo Cows, Gamma Dev, Glenn Main, Grey Defender, Azure Rapper, Johnny WC, Carl G. Crocker, 2600, Gewelthfer, Lambda Express, Mark Yannis, Mark's Metal Atari 969, a Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Latell, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarmo, Mr. Fix, Mighty Fonster, Neo Mini, Nostalgic, Pack Rack, Coog, RC7E, Rendered Ghost, Pendles, VD, Rever, Tuli, Ricardo Pim, Rodcaster, Six Weeds, Smitty B, Spice Wars, Spinley, West Ramirez, Tiki Dan K, Track MD, Vexor, Vintage Game Memories, Vitoko, VG Double Down, X Ken X. And if you would like to support the show, uh, you can do so by uh, clicking subscribe. And it is very much appreciated. And it's uh, Atari's birthday today. I didn't know if we would be doing a show today. So we talked about um, Atari's birthday. Oh, he's, he's, he's resting there. Atari's birthday, not, not this Atari, my cat Atari. It's birthday today, he's eight years old. Uh, uh, so he'll get some extra treats today on the stream. These glasses are filthy, I need to clean them. Um, we're just gonna kinda jump right into the game today because uh, we just did a show last night, so there's not been any news really um, that I know of. Um, so we've got the retail version of Mr. Run and Jump here that we're going to put into a real Atari 2600, the classic. Because um, also something today was also, uh, the media embargo was lifted, but we'll get into that a little bit more in a bit. So let's take a look at the box and the cartridge uh, up close right now. Uh, so let me switch over to here, and we'll unbox it together. So here is the cartridge, the orange version. Um, there are two different versions. There's the uh, small box version and the big box version. This is the small box version, it's miniature. So let's peel off the Atari Age sticker and get this out of the Atari Age wrapper. So there is the box. I need like a light over here. Um, and there's the side. And the bottom. The other side was exactly the same. And the back. So not 
not really any information about the game. Um, probably a copy of the graphics on the cartridge. And here it is. Mr. Run and Jump. There we go. So let's um, let's plug it in. Let's see what happens. Will my uh, system blow up? I don't know. Let's find out. Will it work? Ready. Oh my goodness, it worked. There we go. You have to move a little bit. There we are. Mr. Run and Jump. Uh, no, it just has an Atari Age sticker. I don't know if Atari Age is stocking these um, cartridges. Not that I know of, but they might be eventually, uh, but not right now. These, uh, this game, Mr. Run and Jump. Oh, it's very quiet. A little bit more, a little bit more volume. Um, so the media is allowed to play this game today and the earliest shipping or receiving date that I've seen for Mr. Run and Jump is this Friday. Uh, people who ordered it from Amazon. Um, and if you look on the Atari website that's selling this game, they say they're shipping in December, but those are for orders right now. Um, so people who ordered this game previously are going to get it very, very soon. I'm not sure about the arrival date of the, of this game for people who ordered it from directly from Atari. I'm going to clean my glasses because that's going to make me crazy. Um, so hopefully I'm going to have a lot of fun with this game because I like platformers. That's one of my two top two genres, shooters and platformers. I would say I'm better at platformers than shooters, but I love shooters. I'm not terrible at shooters. Uh, what? Oh, the sticker. Yeah, the sticker. It's an Atari Age sticker. Atari Age is Atari now. So, you know, they kind of blend together a little bit. Um, and I'm sure they'll be, uh, Atari Age will be starting to sell some Atari games on their site. I'm not sure. Who knows what the future will bring? I like the colors and animation of the dog is really nice. It's a very long dog. It's a wiener dog or something. It's a long doggy. Okay, enough of the intro. Come on, Cable. There we go. Um, so this game was originally uh, made. Let's see if I have some notes from my interview with him. So f said from February until April 16th, he started streaming the development of what was called Jump and Run. Can, am I sitting on your tail? You're a crazy cat. So this is a long time in the making. So this is like seven years, and this is the, the developer's first game. You can get full details if you go back and uh, watch my interview with John. Um, okay, Mr. Run and Jump. There's a dog. I have 25,000 points. Uh, nope, and now I don't. Oh, any secrets over here? Always go left first in, in platformers, because they expect you to go right. Um, but sometimes there's secrets if you go left. Oh, there's the title screen again. Flashing in. Uh, we're going to be seeing that title screen a lot because the title screen is, just to explain a little bit, the title screen is appearing because it's in the buffer memory of the retro tank um, because it's filling in blanks of what is supposed to be on the screen. So you can see there, it's, you can see Mr. Run and Jump. And it's, it's basically confused uh, because it's not getting the correct signal from the Atari 2600, maintaining a, um, maintaining a signal. Um, so it has to fill it in with uh, blank information and it doesn't want to drop information. So I think what the retro tank does is goes back to some information it did have before. We're obviously not going for a speed run here because I've been talking. Oh, it's a very wide, very wide jump. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh, look at that. Funny animation. <laughs> Looks like the grasshoppers in a ladybug. The graphics there. Oh, we skipped that ladder. Well, it's very fast climbing up ladders. And you can see there's a bit of a... A little up movement there as the enemy crosses. Oh, don't go in that pit. That's surely death. Less flicker than I'd seen before. Um, is it? I think most people, when they post um, games online, they don't understand that the Atari uses 60 hertz. Um, and they post, if you watch a lot of videos for the 2600 on, I mean, it's better now, but on YouTube, they always post them in 30 hertz, 30 frames a second. And so any games that use any kind of uh, 30, any kind of 60 hertz, oh God. Oh, beginning of the level. <laughs> That's fine. I just have to be more careful. They're gonna miss half the, half the information. So when I started this show, I made sure I had all the equipment to do 60 hertz right from the start. There we go. Because I knew that I'd seen, oh my God, no, from the start again. <laughs> I'd seen so many videos of 2600 games posted on YouTube at 30 frames per second. And it made me crazy because they look just terrible. And there's lots of games, even um, NES games use Flickr. Okay, what am I gonna do here? There we go. Okay, we're gonna jump over this. We're gonna, f we have to go ahead of this guy. Otherwise you're going to die. Oh, okay. Does your equipment maybe reduce flicker? 30 hertz flicker is not visible. Um, no, it's 60 hertz from the 2600. My, uh, the retro tank does 60 hertz. The capture card does 60 hertz. I'm streaming at 60 hertz. Oh God. Oh, I guess I'm okay. Hmm. Oh, I guess I can go over here, jump up there. My. Oh, I'm safe on the top. Okay. Less stress. There we go. Thought I had to do it all in one go. Thank you so much for following. Oh my god. There we go. That's actually the best plan. Can I stand still for a second? Thank you so much, Fernando C. Melito, for following. Can you show single frames later on? I'm not convinced. Maybe it's my TV. 100% I can show single frames. I'll, um... Play it back later. Uh, Charles Wheeland, yes, um, it does show up. Oh, where am I safe? Ooh, I should be safe here? Ooh, yeah, just barely. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do some gliding. There we go. Yeah, I explained it in the beginning. It's because the, um, oh, is it doing it now? Maybe I'm just, yeah, it's still doing it. Yeah, Mr. Run and Jump. That's funny, it keeps that frame. Oh boy, this is very fast. Ah, no! All the way back to the beginning, no! No, no! Oh god, this one is long. I must have been near the end. I'm getting more efficient. More efficient. Eh, it's more practice. Then I went like that. No, I should have stayed to the right. Damn it. Yeah, the retro tank is filling in blanks with the intro screen, essentially. Um, because the game is not... Uh, is blanking out. It's not giving a solid signal. Um, whenever it transitions. It's not giving... Oh, I jumped way too early. Thomas can explain it better than I can. But essentially the game is not giving 
the information that the TV wants. So the retro tank is compensating because I have it on triple buffer for this purpose. And if I did not do triple buffer on the retro, that was close, on the retro tank, um, it would drop out because it's like, I don't, I'm not getting a signal and it freaks out. So luckily the retro tank has that option where it will, oh God, will allow you to fill in some blanks. There you go. And it has been revolutionary for me because the frame meister that I used before this did not have that option. It would constantly blank out and it was driving me crazy. Oh boy. Oh, I can go to the top. This is where I died last time, didn't I? Whoa, that was close. Oh, this must be the end. That looks like an ending screen. Yay, there's the dog. No, stay here, dog. No. Oh, I have to get him again. So the I, I did uh, read out what this game was about before. Let's see. I don't have it written down right now. Um, but it, essentially, your, your dog has run into... Run into this. Oh, that's a slammer. Yeah, I knew it. There we go. There's just certain um, convention. Oh, at least it's not far. If you, yeah. Um, platformers have certain conventions. There we go. And you just know to expect them sometimes. So I did ask him about the flickering. Um, and, um, and I can't remember what specifically he said, but he, he said it was his first game that he's made on the 2600. Oh my God, that's a long jump. Whew. Um, and then I asked him if he, um, consulted like with the Atari age forums or anything. And he just, whoa, he said he just did it on his own. Oh, that's a cute. That is cute. I love that one. But he did program it in assembly. Um, so he didn't use Batari Basic or anything. Oh, this one's a bit more challenging. Oh, that was close. Oh my God. No, no, no. Oh my God. Splendid Nut says, developers first game, so there's gonna be issues like that. Thrust Toys 26 says, if you do not do proper testings, no excuses. Stella has all the tools. I think it was more of a lack of knowledge that you could put to, like this one, this one could be cut down. This screen could be cut down um, on the flickering a bit. Uh, for one, you could do a duplication, I think, close, close duplication of a sprite. And then you could also do um, flicker management so that when that block is up in the air, nothing will be flickering. But some people make the choice, and I can understand that choice, of constantly flickering. So right now it's at flickering at 20 hertz. So it goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it could do 30 hertz, one, two, one, two, one, two. Those are too close? Mm, yeah. Oh, they are overlapping. How close can they be? I thought they could be right beside each other. Um, oh, that was dumb. That was way too, cutting it way too close. Oh my God, you can step right off the ledge. Ooh, I better press the button first. Whew, that's, a, that's a tough one. There's some, some tricky jumps here. Oh, that's close too. Eight pixel mat gap minimum. Oh, okay. Wonder if this guy can jump over that much. Let's see. Would that be 24 pixels? That would be a tough jump. So you would have to flicker on that one. Okay, 
Where's the tough screen? I haven't made it there yet. There we go. This is the tough one. This has a lot going on. Oh, this is a bad idea. Damn it, I knew it was a bad idea. I should have jumped both of those at the same time. He's put some some tricky uh, situations in this game. No! Oh, I have to kill myself? Take me! <laughs> uh, just align the height of the cones to be lower than the bottom of the thwomp. Height of the cones. Oh. Yeah, you can put them on two different levels. But that would make it... Oh my god. Stupidity. Boing. Boing. So today also marks the date that people are previewing the 2600 plus. Um, so be very interesting to, oh, that was very close, to see what they find. I don't know if there's anybody that is going to do any extensive testing of it, but I think... Sorry, I have to stop when I'm on some tricky situations here. Um, last I looked, only two people had videos about the 2600 plus up this morning. Um, they were very short, so they did. I, I didn't watch them all because I wanted to get ready for this show. Um, but I'm not sure if they did any testing. I scrubbed through them, and they pretty much played the media pack. Like, gave a couple minutes to each of... Like, they plugged in the system. They plugged in each of the four cartridges. You've probably seen the media pack where they... This funny-shaped box. It's in the Atari Age forums as well. Okay, I'm going to be quiet for this. <laughs> B.R. Pocock. I know, hypocrite old comment on any else, anyone else's Flickr management. As there's a bit of flicker in, in your game, but there's a lot of stuff going on, on the screen. One did testing, time pilot did not work on one and one copy of Popeye and one other one worked. Oh, one did testing. Oh, that's good. And all worked on the real console. Okay. Well, that's good. That's actually very smart to test the games that didn't work on the 2600 plus to work to see if they worked on the real console. Okay, let's do this. Oh my, oh, what did I do last time? I made it to the middle. I wonder if I can just jump over that guy. I could, more risky. Oh, okay. Not gonna do it here. Um, yeah, so the 2600 plus is released today. Um, It'd be very interesting to hear from somebody who has like a very large collection. <sighs> this level's kicking my ass. Uh, especially somebody with a bunch of homebrew. I mean, it's all been but confirmed that nothing with a loader menu will work on the 2600 plus, like the Harmony cart, uh, the Uno cart, that kind of menu, not like well, actually any kind of menu, where it re where it loads the next thing off of the cartridge. It's a one a one read type of system. Where if it has to go back to the cart for any information, it's not gonna happen. Oh what? My god. My favorite discovery is that Grizzard crashes it. No error text. Ah. That's fun. BR Pocock loves his error screens, which is which is so much fun. To have error screens in your game. Oh my god, that's pathetic. Okay, pay attention to the game. 
Gotta get past this level. I don't know how many levels or screens there are. Oh, I forgot what he said in the interview. That was almost pathetic again. Okay, right to the edge. I have to go right to the edge on this one. Oh my god, that one is tough. <sighs> tough screen coming up. Donkey Kong kill screen coming up. It should do at least the original except Pitfall 2. See, that would be acceptable, I think. Because then you could put on it plays all the original 2600 games. Because a lot of people have just have no clue about homebrew. They just don't know it even exists. And that's played out in the fact by anytime you see like a YouTube video about homebrew, and they always they always say, "Oh my god, a new game for the 2600." I'm like, there's been thousands of them. <laughs> There's hundreds every year there's new ones, but they always like make it so that it's like the biggest deal ever on it on these YouTube videos. And, like so you discovered that Halo 2600 exists and 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 you're like super surprised about it. I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. Okay. Okay, this is where I want to be. There we go. That's, that's, okay. Oh, no! That was not as hard as the previous screen. Ah, oh, pathetic. Come on. And Atari has said they, they, um, they didn't put an FPGA in or anything like that in it to save costs, which I understand. Because if you're going to put an FPGA in, in the device or something else, it's going to ramp up the costs possibly beyond, like there's always cost versus how many you're going to sell. And the more it costs, the less you're going to sell. So they're wagering how many they're going to sell versus the disappointment of certain segments of the fan base that are expecting a certain amount of games that are going to be able to be played on it. Like, the people who watch this show are hardcore Atari 2600 players who play all the games, homebrew, very knowledgeable, but then there's, like, the casual player who remembers the games from back in the 80s possibly mostly Activision games so those are the big ones uh, that everybody remembers um, and probably like um, arcade ports so if they really concentrated on those games like okay all the Activision games work most of the Atari games work made by Atari and arcade ports work it's going to cover most of what we got I think Atari wanted a platform for selling their new carts. That, that too. Because they're selling new carts, like the one we're playing, and people are going to go, oh, how do we how do we play these carts? Oh, I hooked up, I bought this at the flea market, and it looks terrible, and it's cutting out on my flat panel. So it makes sense that they would put out a new system. Um, that would work, that would output nice, uh, a nice picture. Ooh, could I jump both of them? That's risky. I think I should jump both of them. There we go. Okay. No! Oh, when am I supposed to jump there? A little bit? before the second one goes down. Uh, I'm very interested in what you can do with the USB port as well on the 2600 plus. Um, it's, for one, it's definitely flashable, they've said. So 
you're able to update the firmware on it um, for the for the firmware, not the not the cart dumper. Not the cartridge port. So that's never going to be able to be updated. But can you load other things on? Can you load like a newer version of Stella or something? Can you attach an SD card reader to it? That's the big question. If you can attach an SD card reader to it and it can load those games off of the SD card reader into a new version of Stella. Uh, well, you've got the Retron 77 again. <laughs> but it looks like kind of like an Atari 2600. 80% of one. Which might be uh, really great, actually. Uh, Thomas says, I will get one next Tuesday, but I'm not very firm with these things. Dirty Harry might try first. Okay. Yeah, as soon as somebody gets it in the Atari forums, there's going to be so much information. Ah! <laughs> okay. This one, I jumped over both of them, right? Oh my god! Too slow! Am I going to run out of time? How many levels are there? I didn't order a 2600 plus because I don't really see, I didn't see the need for it because I've got Retron 77 and it does at this point less than a Retron 77. Um, maybe it'll do more in the future. Maybe it'll do the exact am same amount in the future. That is, that is the, probably the biggest um, expectation you can get out of it. So I'm like, I don't really go for aesthetics much, and I have so many other consoles that play 2600 games. I really don't need another one. My room is full. Ah. close. Run! Ah! <laughs> okay, this one I jump over both of them at the same time. There we go. That was a little late, too. Okay, we're back here again. Mine is coming from UK to Germany, DHL Express Express. Uh, BR Pocock, my order said ship tomorrow, so okay. Well, um, I know a lot of people are getting them on Friday from uh, Amazon. Okay. That one is so tight. Oh my god. Okay, this one's not bad. Obviously you don't go in the pit. It's just death anyway. But I have to make it to that side. I should jump when it's down so I can reposition myself. Oof. Oh my god. Oh, you can walk right off the edge. Did he use software collision on this? He must, because you can rock right off the edge. There we go. I'm going to try an edge here. How far can you walk off the edge? Okay, I am fully not touching the edge. He definitely used software collision. Interesting. Okay. Uh, this cartridge was a thank you gift. So I did not buy this myself. Oh, interesting. Look at that. You can stand on the edge, but if you jump, so it only does, it does different detecting during a jump. Oh, interesting. So you can be a, lined up with the edge off of it, like my arm is lined up with it. Um, and you can jump, but if you're one more pixel over, I do one more? No, I have to, that's too many. Come on, if you're one more pixel over, there we go. Where there's a gap between the arm and the ledge and you jump, you fall down. Just interesting. Oh, look, when he jumps out, you can see his arm is wide. That's where it's getting the detection. 
It's based on the width, the total width of the character. Okay. There are, beer Pocock, there are only two difficult things in programming. Choosing good names, cache invalidation, and off by one errors. Okay, we made it to the next level. Is level four, I think? Yeah. Oh boy. How high can I jump? Not high enough for the second ladder. Nice. Am I safe anywhere on that platform? Absolutely nowhere. Oh my god. At least this is at the beginning. But also, this is the beginning level. Ah, uh, into the pit of death. How much? Uh, I can't survive that long. Why no hardware collision? I don't know. I don't know why I didn't use hardware collision. Sometimes hardware collision results in very strange behavior, like getting stuck inside of things. Oh, what's the flip screen now? No, still the still the title screen. Oh boy. I should jump when it's high. There we Oh, that's such a close call. Oh my god, look at this. Okay, I can run over here. Then Oh no, I didn't watch how big how big of the thing that was. Okay. I should analyze the screen before I jump. Because that is just going to get me in trouble. No! Stupid! At least PF versus player will work. Yeah, I mean... They, he could be um, registering... He could be using a hardware collision on player versus player, but just not player versus the um, playfield. Oh, no, you're saying playfield versus player. Okay, sorry. No, I pressed it, but at the wrong time. No. This level is going to be... No, I went too far. No, help me. I'm in the pit. Oh my god, stop it! The ledge is... I just keep running. Oh my... Okay, calm down. Calm down. Stop going crazy. Take it slow. Take it slow. Such a close call. Okay, where am I safe down on the next part? Right beside it, I think. Yeah, right beside it. Ooh, that was too close. Whew. The other, uh, the other sprites are flickering. That won't work well. Oh, player versus player. Yeah, it's probably bounding boxes. Where am I safe in there? I think I'm safe right beside that guy. Am I? Yes, I am. Yes. Oh, I didn't check that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. We're safe down here? No, we're not, but there's lots of time. Okay. Oh, okay. Very VHZ. <laughs> nice. Okay. Am I safe anywhere? No. Oh my god. This is going to be tight timing. Go to the right as much as possible. Do you count this as homebrew for the awards? Yes. I count... What I'm doing is I count any new game that... I think the definition is any new game. Like, it has to be new. Um, that works on hardware. 2600 hardware. Um, and this is new. This is released this year. I'm a little at odds with, like, well, no. Yeah, that's, that's it. Like, I, I count any new game. I don't, I don't, the only time I would exclude it is if somebody says 
I don't want to be in the awards. And there, I have a list of people that say I don't want to be part of the awards because they don't they don't like competition or they don't count their stuff as homebrew, things like that. I'm just going to have to run for this. Oh, this is brutal. There's not much time. Oh, I got stuck. Oh, I knew that was going to be a possibility. If you press to the right, can you press up and to the right? Oh, you have to jump off a ladder. Oh my God, you have to jump off a ladder. So I should jump. I should go halfway up. Oh, the behavior. How does this work? I better practice on this ladder. So if I'm here, but there's no wall against me here. Oh, I better practice on that ladder. Okay. See, if I press up and to the right, I don't go off the ladder. That was the problem. So if I press up and to the right and the button, then I'm off the ladder. And then I just, just keep running. So if I slam the button, oh my God. <laughs> That's unexpected behavior for a ladder. Usually you just fall off of it, but look, I'm pressing up and to the right and I'm not falling off the ladder. Is there a public ROM of this game? Uh, no, no, it's no public ROM of this. Circus Convoy is not a homebrew. They said so themselves. Exactly. That's an exclusion. Um, no, there's no public ROM of this game. So people will have to either buy it themselves or base it off of people playing it like me. Wrong timing. No. Because we don't exclude uh, games that don't have a public ROM because there's plenty of homebrewers that don't want to release their game for free or a demo. A lot of the Brazilians don't release demos. Oh my God. Okay, concentrate. Um, Brazilians don't release demos because they have, there's a history in Brazil of rampant piracy as if there isn't in North America, in uh, Canada and the US as well. Um, but in the past they have released demos and people have been selling those demo versions that are just like the first couple levels as the complete version of the game. So they're, oh, why am I jumping so early? So that's why they uh, really usually don't release demos, which is a little bit disappointing, but, well, oh, oh, Dan says, well, that disqualifies for me to be used my next high score club. Yeah, I mean, if there's no uh, public release, it's it will be restricted to just people who have the cart. Oh my god. No, no, no! Why am I having trouble with that timing now? Oh, I fell off the cliff again. Stop it! <laughs> this game is tight timing. Okay, that would have been the time. Okay, there, there's, there are some times where it's not bad at all. Okay, let's go close, run, fall down near it. Oh, actually just straight fall down. Then I can go close to that. No, why did I do that? And this game actually started out as a homebrew, not being published by anyone. I guess his own company, Heavy Horse Games. Um, but then Atari picked it up after they made a modernized version of it. I, I'd have to review... Oh, actually, if you look at my listings, I think I did put a size there because he did say the size during the interview. And then I updated the 2600 listings um, on Atari Age. So I'm guessing it's a 32. It could be 16, but I think it was 32. Oh my God, <laughs> that was risky. I didn't really pay attention. Okay. This level looks harder than it. Oh my God, I wasn't 
moving forward enough to trigger them. Not easy. Oh my stupidity, stupidity. Yeah, if, if you look it up, Thomas, can you let me know how big it is? But I think it's 32. Whew. my opportunity. Okay, this one. No! Oh my god, these jumps are so precise! Old school hard! Obstacles. Okay. There we go. 19,000 points left. Okay, here we go. We're going to be pressing up to the right and the button like crazy, spamming it. Oh, oh my god. Forgot about that guy. I was just not aware of him. Okay, what's going on here? Triple. Now it's better definitely not to jump from here. It's going to be definitely better to jump from here. Okay. Oh my god, what? You do have to jump off there? Oh. It's one of those games where you learn screen by screen, go back and go to the screen. Oh my god. That's okay. It's okay. We have time. It's in the middle of the day. <laughs> no time limit. We will finish this game. Well, we actually might not. Unless the score goes to zero, and it's like, oh, you can still play. Or do you die when the score goes to zero? I don't know. Because this might be just like, oh, there's your score. Your score is zero. You suck. <laughs> or it might be like, oh, you died. Okay, so I'm going to go right to the edge on this. I only get one shot at this. Because I can't climb back up. Okay, there we go. Whoa, flicker fest. Okay. This just looks deadly. Just means you can't jump over them. That's fine. This just looks deadly. Not, it isn't. Oh, what? And I die, of course. Went too close to him. But I know how to do all these levels now. <laughs> Even more flicker than Pac-Man, quite an achievement. Well, you only have to have five things on the screen to be more flickery than Pac-Man. And I think that screen did. Because there's four on the screen now. Ugh, there we go. Run, 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 Mr. Run, and jump. I love the name. It's a great name. Mr. Run and Jump, because that's what he does. Ah! Screens that were hard are now not hard. This one's still challenging. Because it's very tight. This one is just deceptively challenging. It's not challenging. Just I got too close last time. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And more than Pac-Man. Okay. This one is precision. 
This one is a long jump to the ladder, because I don't think you can get that ladder after. Oh my god. It's kind of good that you don't fall off the ladder, because you could push yourself off the ladder. New world record! Is it? <laughs> oh, for this flickering. Oh my god, I could have died on that screen. It's one of these again, huh? Okay, what am I going to do here? I'm going to do this. Yeah. Oh, stupidity! Hola, Vitoko! Mr. Run and Jump... Oh, question K! Oh, so... Hmm. Is there an easy way to determine... Like, what's the easiest way to, like, dump a cart so you can find out how big it is? I guess there really isn't an easy way to do that. Oh, no, you could put it in the Retron 77, can't you? And it'll, like, cache it? And there's a way to do that? I thought there was. Oops, wrong timing. Anyway, you're not supposed to do that. Don't do that, kids. Don't dump carts. Unscrew and read us the prom... Uh, I don't think there is a... Oh, I don't want to unscrew that. Destroy it. Yes, the R R77 will dump at the SD. That's what I thought. So what do you... You start... You plug in the game, you start it, and then you just take out the SD card and it's there, I'm guessing. Well, like, while it's on? Or does it retain the last game played? Yeah, it would retain the last game played if you turned it off while you were playing it, because it would have no time to erase it. That makes sense. Up the ladder. Okay. I'm just gonna wait. Okay, this one looks hard, but it's not. Just have to stand in the right spot in the middle of it, because I don't think I can make it through. Okay, where is that middle? Right there. It's a safe spot, right? Oh, that one's tight. Ah! <laughs> It could erase it after starting Stella, but it doesn't. Yeah, it could keep it in memory. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. I mean, and it's not 4K, so for the contest, for the homebrew awards, it doesn't matter. It's definitely not 4K. So that's... Oh, it looked like I passed right through that guy. Making it further each time. That's all I care about, is that I get better. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Oh, that was very slow. Very slow on my part. Very dangerous. So I can do two at a time. That's probably the best way to do this one. Yeah. You think this is possible in 4K? There are only so many characters and they're like you know eight they'd be like um eight bites each each of these characters um there's animation for this guy the dog is has a bit of animation too that was too slow i hit something um I mean, you've worked wonders with compression, Thomas, before. Oh, God. Uh, I pressed it, but just a little too slow. The levels would take the most space, but they're not too detailed, yeah. Yeah, they're fairly 
chunky in terms of their um, play field. Oh, that's really close. Yeah, I don't know. You could fit a number of levels on here. And... Okay. To concentrate. No! Oh, why? What is it? What did I hit on? What did I hesitate on there? I think I didn't hit jump fast enough? Oh my god, it's so hard. It almost seems like there are playfield tiles. Oh, like building blocks. That could be. I mean, it's a very good way of um, building a level. It's like, okay, these are the chunks, rather than storing them all together as one single screen every single time. It's much more economical. Oh, the ladder! It's because of the behavior of the ladders in this game. It's just, I mean, when you play a game, you work within the confines of the game's rules. And this game's rules is you can't walk off a ladder. You have to jump off a ladder. I don't think the jumping is working. Oh! I pressed it right away. I think I have to go up and then jump, not jump up. Eight bytes per level. Eight bytes for the playfield, really? Like, if you look at this screen... Yeah, yeah, think Pitfall. Yeah! But Pitfall is even more repetitive. Because every screen in Pitfall is essentially the same. It's an upper and lower. And then they put barriers or holes in it. This one is made of different pieces, yeah. Regarding the ladders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh god, way too early. This is a tough platformer. Didn't wait long enough on this one. This is before Dark Show, yes. Definitely before Dark Show. Oh, that was close. Didn't wait long enough. This is a uh, impromptu play it now show. Because I can. Oh, that was too late. Not too late. I survived, but waited a bit long. This is a play it now quick show. Because I'm able to now. Okay, I'm going to go up and then jump. Jumping. Did jumping stop me? No, it didn't. Oh my god, it's so hard. Afternoon coffee stream uh, for Splendid Nut. Yeah. This is like a before lunch stream for me. It's pitch black outside in Europe. Well, it's kind of gray outside in Vancouver here. It's almost pitch black. <laughs> it's winter time. Well, it's not winter, but it might as well be. Because it all blends together. The only time it looks winter is... Oh, this level is kicking my... Oh, my God! Kicking my ass. Oh, I don't know what... How I did it. That is the worst in gaming, is when you do a level, and then all of a sudden you come back to this level, and you're like, how did I do it before? Come on. Oh, no, I'm out of sync now. Wait till it's up at the top. There. And the next one. Hi. Oh, I know, birthday cat. I know. No, don't, don't start biting me. Don't start biting me. That's not good cat behavior. It's not birthday boy behavior. It's entitled cat behavior. OK, 
Okay, what is happening here? I'm just gonna hammer the jump button. Yep, that's it. Hammering the jump button helps. <laughs> so I'll remember that next time. Hammer, 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 and push up and to the right. No pause key. Uh, I wouldn't want to touch any of those keys. <laughs> any of the difficulty switches at this moment. Because it might reset. You never know what the behavior is. Unless somebody's got the instructions handy for this game. Then it gives you a bunch of gimme levels. It's nice when there's some relaxing levels in between the super hard ones. Okay. Oh, I should just go for it right away. Does he reset every time? Oh, he does. Yeah, that's much easier. Oh, that's much easier. Did I die on this one last time? Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Because there's so little room. There's so little room over there. And they're moving at different speeds, so I... It'd be too hard to run through both of them at the same time. Does it come with instructions or a link to instructions? No. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say this is the experience that somebody would get buying it retail. Because I don't know what comes in the package. Um, I just have the cartridge. So I don't have any instructions. Um, but I wouldn't say that... Oh my god, there's so little room there. Oh, it even changes. No, it doesn't. Okay. Oh, that was close. Okay, where's safe? Safe is at that ledge. Okay. Now I'm just going to jump off here. Oh my god. What's what's here? Invisible enemy? Oh god, no boss, please. Oh, that would be the worst. A boss at the end of a super hard level. <gasps> oh my god. That was, uh... Okay, what's happening here? I'm gonna jump up and over this... No, what am I gonna do? I think I'm gonna... Oh my god, what am I gonna do here? This one is like a nightmare. Well, you had maybe two pixels of safe space there, yeah. Package contents, Atari 2600 game cartridge, no mention of any manual. Okay. I mean, there's some un... There's some questions. I mean, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward game. But it's like, what do the switches do? Do you die when you run out of uh, time? I mean, it gives you a ton of time. What did I start with? 20? 20 something? Some interesting level planning here. Empty screen before a certain death. Yeah, it's like, that's that's kind of normal for uh, a lot of video games. Either a very too calm of a screen, of a screen, or there's like a bunch of power ups all of a sudden. Like, oh, here's some health and an awesome weapon. He's like, no, 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 that's too good. Something's happening. Could be one, but no mention. Yeah, it could be a, a manual. Okay, what am I gonna do here? Ooh, does that time up well? Oh yeah, okay, I could jump over that guy. Like, there. And then I have to stand still and jump over the guy that's cu coming back after me as that block comes down. Then I have to jump over the gap, which is super wide gap, so I have to be right at the edge. But I'll make it past that dropping guy first so I can jump over it. Okay. So I think I've got my plan of attack. There's a lot. You can't just sit still on that screen, though. Okay, here we go. Ah! Oh, God damn it, I jumped too far! Oh! Why did I jump that far? Okay, here we go again. We'll do it. We'll get there. Okay, sync up. There we go. One more. No! At least that's at the beginning. And synced. And then after this one. 
and I didn't press it fast enough, so I'm in the pit of death. Oh, oh my God. So what is everyone's opinion on this game in terms of technical quality? Like if you look at this screen, there could have been flicker management. Some of these things could be like not flashing most of the time. Um, and also the break between, like the, the unstable screen between screens. Oh my god, I'm talking too much. Um, should Atari have went to somebody who isn't the first a first time programmer and said, hey, we've got some issues with this game. Um, could you take a look at it? Uh, this is going to be our first release in 30 years. We want it to be looking good. Um, we have some, some some issues with the game. It, it's kind of weird. I mean, it probably won't look bad on... I mean, it's still going to be flickery on a 2600+. plus. You can't get away from that. Um, the screen flip is probably going to be gone. Um, should they have consulted somebody? Your opinion's low. Should they have gone to like the community or somebody, an expert uh, programmer or, you know, an old school programmer or somebody and said, hey, we need a little bit of help cleaning up some of this. Um, or, or is it just fine releasing it as is? It's like, it is a good game. I, there's no disputing that. This is a hard platformer and it is like the design of this is very well done. Like it's challenging. Okay. Okay, that's it. Mashing the button. Um, problem is, many people will think this is Atari 2600 standard. Yeah, they'll think like, oh, it's like it's like the old Pac-Man. It's like, oh, it's all flickery, and that's just how it was. That that that's an interesting point. It's like, how will this influence people's opinion of old of 2600 games, like from the 70s and 80s? even 90s, it barely got into that. And they'll think, oh, this is just how it was, and mo it, modern games are better. And and they'll never see, like, uh, they won't play some of the modern homebrew because it isn't compatible with the 2600+. plus. I think that's a very relevant point. Um, and if they pop in, like, a Champ Games game, they'll be like, oh, oh my god, what is this? Uh, and they'll... And they'll have a completely different opinion on it because they can see what can be done with games on the 2600. Like, there's masterpieces out there. Just look at just any handful of um, homebrew games in any given year. So I, I think that it would have been better if there was in some consultation, but is that a failing on the developer's part or is it a failing on Atari's part? And I think the developer just did what they did. Um, I think it was kind of unexpected that they picked up the game from the conversation I had with the developer on the show. I, it was kind of a package deal from what I could tell with the re imagine modern version of Mr. Run and Jump and then they thought okay well we've got this new version coming out let's put out the the 2600 you know project that he made um at the same time and they just they're just like oh well we don't okay what did I do oh yeah I just ran right to the middle no no how come I couldn't change oh I was already too far There is a certain skill to talking and playing games at the same time. I think this just profits from being the first new game from Atari. 
And they do advertise it as that, too. Um, so I'm not talking hyperbole when I'm, when I, um, advertise this for, on the stream saying this is the first new game from Atari. It is literally the first new game from Atari. That they have published. That hasn't been made before. That has been, like, resurrected from archives or, um, added to, like, Berserk. Or... Um, just repackaged. No! It got stuck! Why? I was hammering the button! Oh. Metal Luna says, Right, we've seen what could be done and could be better than this in technical terms. Oh my god. Um... I don't think it'll change things overall because people who know better know better. Know that there are games that can be technically done better. Um, and the people who don't know that games can be technically done better. I mean, maybe they'll know about like Pitfall 2 from the old, old school games. Um... God, or um, any of the other numerous awesome games that were released in the classic lineup. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, it's just not as good as some other ones. Oh, why did I do that? It would not have been released by Atari Age. Hmm. That's an interesting question. Would Al say to the developer, hey, it's it's a great playing game? Oh my god. But um, here's some issues. I mean, I've never dealt with Al as a developer, and I know he consults with them and says, hey, fix some, some of these things. Um, and then and then we'll take a look at publishing it. Um, so, I, yeah, maybe he would have said, okay, just, just fix it up a little bit, fix some of the flickering, talk to, talk to this person, this person, and, uh, then we'll come back to it. Um, yeah, the closest, yeah, the closest that you could compare this to is a VHZC. It's got a lot of the hallmarks of one in terms of level design. Oh, this level, this level, I'd be so glad when this... Whole level is over because of this screen. It's just killing me. Oh, delivery. Is delivery? I can hear certain types of stomps. Yep. Is it for me, though? Okay. Oh, I did it. Now I just have to not die for the rest of the level. Easier said than done. They didn't ring the bell, but usually delivery people don't ring the bell. Al knows his details like can't versus cannot and versus can not. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's he's he has a great eye for details. Which, you know, reflects in the game releases that Atari just put out. And why they've been able to hold down the fort for the past uh, 22 years, since 2001. I can't remember when the first Atari Age release was, but. Oh, this is so tight. No! Oh, I made up that letter, oh my God. Wasn't there a concern about flicker when we first saw the video a while back and we were told that there was no flicker by Atari and the dev? No, no, I don't think they said there was no flicker. That would be um, delusional. <laughs> that would be delusional if they said that there was no flicker on this game. 
was it in some sort of context? Like there would be no flicker when it's played on a 2600 plus? Um, even then. Or maybe they said it would look better on the 2600 plus? I don't. Oh, I'd love to see if that was said because that's. I don't think that's possible. I know on the ColecoVision. There's an F18A chip or something like that where it does actually eliminate flicker in Coleco games. Um, it says some sort of sprite multiplexing, but that's probably because the way Coleco handles sprites, maybe? Oh my god, I did touch that. Somehow I survived. Okay, birthday cat. You're going to get some treats. You're just going to get treats. Don't anybody trigger it because I can't really do it by myself. Don't don't trigger uh, treat time. I'm just going to feed the cats some treats. Because it's birthdays. And you know how brothers are. When somebody gets a present, the other kid has to get a present too. So there you go. Don't trigger treat time. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'll ignore it. Because <laughs> I can't do it by myself because I have to watch the cats and increase the score and feed them something and watch the bells. It's impossible. Or it's really hard. I did do it once, but it was a total failure because I was missing who rang the bell and it was not a good time. <laughs> um, I'm a single child, all presents for me. Go Thomas. <laughs> all attention, all the presents. It's a pretty sweet deal. Okay. Okay, here we go. I have to like concentrate on the screen, like that position, I have to focus my eye on it. Even then it's hard because like last time somebody said to you, you're a pixel away or two pixels away from death. Okay, this is the hard one. Ooh, that's what I did last time. I, I, I was like, oh, I'm going to get hit by the one on the left. But then I got hit by the one on the right. Okay, I just have to... What do I do? Oh, I'm safe at the edge. Right. Then I just jump for it. Okay, here comes death. <sighs> They're blaming the flicker on the video capture they used. Oh, I mean, they could... They probably did capture it at 30 frames per second so the flicker was worse than this or it was missing things um because it was flickering at 30 because they captured it at 30 frames per second it was like not getting some things all the time so the flicker looked much worse oh there's no ducking no no ducking add some variation i mean yeah ducking ducking is 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 i mean you can set up any rules you want for the game still have 15,000. Unless this game goes on for like 20 levels, I think I'm okay in terms of that. Okay, what was the thing here? Jump over them, but I, and I made it, but I jumped too far. That was the issue. Oh my god. Okay, I need to just stay here for a second. Okay, now go under it. Come on. Now I have to get my bearings. Now wait till he passes. No! I have to jump right as he goes. Like right, right as he passes. Like just a little bit before he passes. Oh my god, I have to deal with that ladder again. Oh, that level's so hard. It's so packed full of nonsense. Yeah, it was, it was close. I'll get it next time. It was just timing. It was just the timing on that last obstacle. That better be the last level. Because <laughs> that's hard. The last screen, I mean, on this level. Because that is brutal. The timing and the number of... Like, this is the brutal one. Okay, so what I did last time is I pressed up first, then hammered on the jump. There we go. Like up just a millisecond before, like a frame or two before. Like up and then pre press the button. Last time I was jumping. 
50 levels. Oh, I must be very close then. Very, very close. Because there's been like... Maybe 20 levels? No, it can't be 20. I'd be done. That'd be 8. I'm on, I'm on screen. I'm on level 4, I believe. No! Oh my god! You can jump over them! It's much harder, though. I was right up against it. That saved me. No! Why? No! No! Haha, uh, yeah. I deserve haha -ha for that. That was pathetic. And they're timed. Now we'll do it after this one. There we go. Get really uh, a lot of practice in on this level. Oh my god. That was close. My god. Yeah, pathetic. You are. Yes, good, pathetic cat. Do a rage reset. Ah, uh, no, no. This does the rage reset all already for me. I'm fine. <laughs> rage resets the beginning of the level, which is not what I want, but... Okay. Yeah, I think I, I think I've figured it out. Up a millisecond before. Oh, you just got a bunch. Did that whet your appetite? Is that why you're crying now? It's like, oh, I love it. I want more. I really want more. Yeah, the conundrum is like, how close can I get without moving too close? Mm. Every level freaks me out. <laughs> Except for the one without anything on it. That one doesn't freak me out. So hard. We're not laughing at you. We're laughing with you. Just reaction to the challenge of this. It is... Hard! Hard, hard, hard. Well, we passed under the 15,000 mark. <sighs> no, I did it again! I second-guessed myself and... Blah, and moved too close. I was safe, I think. Okay, I'm not going to second-guess myself. I'm just going to just go once, stop. Just go once and stop. No! I pressed it! Yeah, it looks challenging enough. No matter how many times you do each screen, you can die there easily. Yep. Every screen has... Just because I figured out the screen, each screen has its own perfect timing. Timed. Then one more. And one more. And press the button at the right time. Oh my god. Like, I have to remember the timing of every level, each individually. I'm not normally very good for memorizing things, but luckily I don't have to do the whole level over again. I just have, well, I do, but not the whole game over again. So I don't think I could, I mean, I would memorize some of them, but I would definitely die again. But there is like, there's knowing the level, and then there's doing the level. It's like, oh, I know how to do this level, but it's still hard as hell. Like this one. Oh, I got caught for some reason. I don't know what the difference is between me not getting it and me getting it. Because okay. I, I swear I do the same thing every time, but... Apparently, I don't. <laughs> Apparently, the game decides I do not do the same thing every time, and you deserve to die. Because I'm a naughty ladder. I mean, the flickering, from a technical standpoint, is like, yeah, it's it could be... Especially this. This shouldn't flicker at all. This whole thing right here. There's no need for flicker. This is a good example. Um, but after a while, you just... You forget about the flicker. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! What is the problem? I'm 
pressing the button too late? That is the single, probably the place I've died the most in this whole game so far is jumping off a ladder. <laughs> Which is crazy. It doesn't make any sense that that's so hard. It's like some of the easy, it's like the easiest thing in a game to do is get off a ladder and run. But, uh, nope. It makes it for the most challenging level in the whole game. Oh, come on. Oh my god, the timing. Run! Here it is, the hardest level in the whole game so far. Yay! Now I just have to not die again. Maybe it's the controls programming checks every over second frame. Oh! That could be it! That, you know those speed runs? Uh, if you ever watched a, a video about speed running, they're frame perfect. They're talking about s they're talking about subframes, not subframes, subframes, subpixels, um, where it's like the timing is so precise. It is. Oh my god! I almost died there. That'd be pathetic. Um, where these speedrunners know exact pixel jumps, and they have to do exactly every time. I mean, this game isn't that hard, but uh, that precise, but it you could be right, Thomas, where it's checking at a specific time, and if I am not pressing the button at that time, it will skip the button or delay the jump. Okay, no second guessing. There, see if I second guessed, I'm like one, two pixels away and I would have died. Even that's so close. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Thrust says again, people call my games hard. Tsk, tsk, tsk. Tsk, 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 yes. Well, you're, you're, some of your games are hard. Very challenging, but um, that's what games are supposed to be. They're supposed to be challenging. They're supposed to be hard. If they're too easy, you'd be like, this is boring. You want, it's, it's the, the balance of hard and easy. And I think this maintains that balance fairly well. This is level four. It should be hard. It should be really challenging. And it doesn't punish you with lives, which is good, because this game would be just insanely brutal with giving you three lives. I'm stopping here because the next level is the nightmare level <laughs> that I haven't passed yet. Um, yeah, it's, it's the, the ramp up here is fine. Yeah, exactly. It's totally fine. Like, first level, I died a couple times. Second le level, died more. Third level, died a lot. Fourth level, this one, I think I'm on fourth. It's hard. It's hard, hard. I'm I'm not, like, every run through, I'm not making it to here every time. I'm dying on levels previous. Most of that latter level. Okay, what did I do? I jumped over both of those at the same time, then stopped, then made to the ledge, and then died. Okay, because that guy, oh, I should jump over when he was down. Did I jump over when he was going up? That would have been dumb. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I'll pause here for a second. Gee, oh, caught my leg on that guy. Oh my God, this game. I will not stop till I finish it, though. Because it's possible. It's not a lives game. So you can continue on. As long as you keep making progression through the levels. Which I'm still making progression. Just very, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> just, uh, a little slow. A little slow. I don't know if I'm... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. This nightmare. Yay! I, I know what to do. It's just if, if it executes what I do.
I definitely wouldn't get that far for numerous reasons. <laughs> you give up. I kind of like doing the show because it it forces me to experience. What did I do here? Oh, I just jumped over it. That's right. <laughs> oh my God, why? Um, because it forces me to play more than I probably would had I, I not be streaming. I don't know. One of those games where doing the right thing doesn't help, but guarantee you won't die. Yeah. That is exactly what that ladder is. It's like, well, you know what you're doing. It doesn't mean you're not going to die. No, why did... Timing was terrible on that. Terrible. You, you really can't make a mistake going over those things. Because they give you just... They give you just a little bit of leeway. Not much. How about enforcing your own game programming? Well, unfortunately, today, this is kind of usurping my programming hour. Oh, press the button. Yeah, I think you suggested, like, me stream my programming. Oh my god, that would be a nightmare. I'd be so embarrassed. About my lack of skills and my bumbling and fumbling and mostly looking up charts of... What does this do? How do I accomplish this? How do I add one to the accumulator? <laughs> That's what it would be me. Just like, what's the, what, what do I do here? How do I transfer A to X? Yay. And everybody be yelling at the screen. It's like, oh, you fool. Don't you know assembly? I just have to do it when uh, Thomas is asleep, so I won't be so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my god, I almost died there. Okay, rest for a second. TAX, yeah, there you go. Or do it over a Discord channel. Stop immediately! I bet you're better than you give yourself credit for. Like, I... I know the principles of programming. It's just a lot of looking up because I haven't memorized. I haven't used them. Like I'm sure, you know, Thomas programming, he's like, oh, I know that code. I know that code. I know what what to do. Um, but I would be just looking things up and referencing constantly. Which, you know, maybe that's fine. Maybe that'd be entertaining. I don't think it'd be entertaining. I would definitely do it on a second channel because that would be so terrible. People, tu people tuning in for this and all of a sudden they all they see is like text on a screen for five hours. Okay, nightmare. Oh, I'm down to 13 now. Oh, that's not good. Paired programming via the net. Paired programming. Oh, that'd be interesting. Our Discord is like a co-working space. Happy to answer reference questions generally. Oh, okay. Oh, which Discord is that? Is there a programming Discord? Or is it in the Atari? It's probably in the Atari Age Discord, right? Okay, what did I do? Oh, I jumped. Oh! I panicked! I panicked! Ah, <laughs> I didn't think about it too long enough. Okay. Let's do this! Come on! Atari homebrew chat. Oh, homebrew chat. Is that where? Okay. I don't see a lot of programming going on there. I thought it would be in a programming um, channel. Oh, God. <laughs> I went way at the wrong time. Way at the wrong time. Watch, calm down, calm down. Okay, they're synced, and then wait one, and wait two, and then go for it. I have to memorize all these little things. Oh, 
all these timings of every level. I may run out of time if this is not the last level. Well, not the le No, I'd still have enough to do in a whole other level. Unless it's like twice as brutal as this. Yay. I'm going to say yay every time I pass that ladder. Because it's like... I'm like saying yay for the game, allowing me <laughs> to go past it. This is one of those games where doing a playthrough, a full playthrough, does not help. It does not help you play this game. You just have to experience it. Like, I'm having trouble. I know what I'm doing here. I know what I'm doing. And I'm still not. Is, isn't there a programming uh, channel on the, uh, the Atari Age Discord? This level stresses me out. That is like just a pixel off. Oh my god. That's so tight. Okay. Doesn't seem like a very skill building type of game. Uh, I would say it's a very specific skill building type of game where you get skilled at that level. I mean, you understand the mechanics of each of these things now? Okay. Jump, stop, jump, jump, move, jump, jump, and then jump over just before he passes by you. Okay. Jump. I'm gonna wait. Be calm. Up. Okay, be calm. Wait till he passes by. Oh my god! I wasn't at the edge! I wasn't even thinking about how close, how big of a jump that was. Can I jump up? Of course not. Double jump! Wall jump! <laughs> Did I gain the wall jump ability? Ah, oh, I didn't. Did I gain the double jump ability? No, I didn't. Oh my god! Okay, I'll, I'll get it. I'll get it this time. If I make it there. I'd say it's about a 50% chance of making it there each time because I mess up on something or the timing's off. Okay, synced. One, two, jump. The only thing that's going to make me go crazy, if there's another level right after that, where it's just as hard, that better be the last part. If that's not the last level, the last screen of this level, the developer's a masochist. Okay. I have to reposition my hand to do this part. Oh my. You know it's hard when you have to reposition the way you hold the joystick for one part of the game. <laughs> it's kind of good those those up and down smiley faces are instant. Because then you're able to move like right away. <sighs> Closer, yeah. Yep. Oh. Great sound for this one. Dee, 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 dee. Hey, hey, what are you up to? Don't go back to your cord chewing ways. It's your birthday, I know, but that doesn't mean you get a free cord chew. Especially not that $60 power adapter. Bad Atari. <sighs> Another close one. Of course, it is close. Like, you can't not be close in this level. This screen. Just keep mixing that up. Okay. 
Seems like programming is more often PC work versus homebrew chat is homebrew dev and rice. Yeah. Rice. Okay. Could have gone there, but. Mm. Okay, up. No! No comment. Uh, <laughs> why? Why? I bet I could jump immediately and clear it for some reason. I don't have to wait for this sinking. I wonder if anybody would possibly do a speed run of this game. I mean, obviously there's harder games out there. But this, oh my god. To do a perfect speed run of this? Brutal. That would be interesting. It would not be me doing that. You get too close to the edge and the timing of the pressing of the button. You know what? I think you might be right, Thomas. Unless it's me. Where the the uh, input check is temperamental, let's say. One, two. With Stellar Rewinds, I might be able to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do a um, tool-assisted speedrun. They would definitely fall under that category. Oh yeah, tool assisted speed run? No problem. Do that all day. Especially here. Why is that so hard? Should not be so hard. But it is. Okay, here we go. Oh, my hands are so sweaty. Oh my god. Okay. Take it slow. Of course, every time I take it slow, there's a chance that okay, I have to go right to the edge. Even more so. There we go. There's a chance of falling off. Oh my god! Oh, thank god! It's the end of the level. Oh, it's the end of the level. Is this the end of the game? I mean, how can it get harder than that? I mean, it could, but... Oh, is it the white level? No, it's another level! <laughs> oh my god! Uh, the game side is slightly out of sync. Let me see if I can fix that. Um... That definitely can happen because of the um, the desync of the screen. Like if it doesn't maintain a proper, um, it's a good time to redo it. Okay, tell me how it is now. Thank you, Charles Whelan. Is it good now? Yeah, when when the um, when it loses picture, it'll totally confuse the capture card. 
Thus is the pain in the ass that I have making uh, playing 2600 games. It does not provide you a steady, steady, uh, very well-known um, signal. Oh, are we back to simple? No, it's lulling me. Oh my god, new enemies. Or new, new behavior. Is, is that random? No, it's not random. Oh, they're out of sync. Damn it. No comment on the, the synchronization? Oh my god. They're totally different syncs. That guy's much faster. Oh, 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 oh. Another one that's out of sync. Oh my god, oh, I press the button. Oh, I gotta get on the ledge, on the edge of the ledge. That's what I gotta do. Did those allow me on the edge of the ledge? I don't know. I'm rushing too fast. No, they don't. Pfft. Sync seems fine now. Excellent. It'll probably go out of sync again. Oh my god. That's so tough. <sighs> okay. Can I? Yeah, I can go on the ledge. Okay. That one takes a long time to appear. Oh, I just pressed it a little bit. Just the tiniest of bits. Please let me have it. Oh my god. It's challenging right away on screen three. Okay, okay, I got that one now. Oh, that one I don't. Because the sensitivity is like, let me practice on this. Okay, even that is might be, see, that's too far. There, but it's still hard. Okay, I think I can get it now. So that's that one there is too fast to jump and run through. Oh, I gotta do it when he's not there, but it's so tiny of a time that um See that one's easy. I got that one. Got it now. Maybe I can jump over it? Oh, I can. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, what's happening here? Flicky, flickery blocks? Why, would, why do you make them so... Oh, come on! Oh! This is the level of surprise! Oh my god, what do I do? Why am I doing that? So I really got to watch, but the blocks are ones that are like, I could jump before it appears or as it's disappearing. Ah. Okay. We can do it. There. Okay. Now, are they going to come out? I'm going to move bit by bit, bit by bit. Is there any that's going to come down here? No. That's to fake you out. Okay, there's a safe spot there, though. Oh, my God. What? No, no. And it's off a ladder, too. Oh, asynchronous enemies are the worst. I think it's more than 10 screens, but that might be it. I would say this is the last level. Up, down, up, down. And then the other one is up, down, up. Okay, I just waited till they were in sync and just went for it. That's probably the best. Oh, oh, hello. Okay, safe here, safe here, safe in the middle. Yeah. 
But they're asynchronous. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I don't want to do these levels over again. But I know I'm going to die. Oh, my God. Are you joking? Oh, I have to fall down the left side. <laughs> Avoid that ghost going up and down. Try and time out my falling speed with that ghost. And then avoid the guy at the bottom. Oh my god. How fast do I fall? Not super fast. Not super slow. I think I'm going to time it for when he's going on the down and when that ghost is in no i oh! <laughs> not as bad as bad as the screen of death from earlier no it's not because I'm, I'm able to pass them it's still hard as hard as heck <laughs> so hard it's so hard okay i did that one a little differently but that's fine Okay, that one's fine. Okay, breeze through that one now. Now I just wait till they're synced up. And die, because I jumped too early. Because I because you have to jump off the ladder. Oh my god. Okay, I'm not going to do that tactic. Ugh. It's it's so hard. Like if you hold to the right as you jump, you'll go too far. You have to jump and then just press at the very height. But that's so hard to do because you only have like a fraction of a second to press to the right. Oh, and I met, ah! Is Atari tripping or is there a fly in the room? Are you following something? Have you? <laughs> Maybe there's dust. Are you, were you looking for something? Um, we could do catnip, but Atari has been having allergies. Oh my god. Distract me with the catnip. Um, I could I could try. Somebody want to trigger catnip? You don't have to trigger. Yeah, trigger catnip. If you want to, if you have a, enough to spend. If you don't have enough to spend, I can just do it. Um, hmm? Are you interested? Interested in the catnip? Huh? You want some catnip? Thrust, want, Thrust, do you have enough uh, enough points to do some catnip for this birthday boy? We can do... I don't see catnip anymore. Oh, yeah, you can't. I, I disabled it. Um, we will... Um, oh, trigger treat time, and I'll give them catnip. Because that'll get them excited. It's treat time. It's yum. treat time. Yum, there yum, we yum, go. Yum, yum, yum. There, that'll get them excited. They, don't, they won't care that it's... Um, that it's catnip or treats. They'll just be happy to be there. Okay, ready? There you go. Catnip. Tari's like, where's my treats? This isn't. And instantly spilled on the floor. Sprite, what are you doing? He just digs at it. He makes a massive mess. There you go. Oh, birthday cat. Good birthday cat. Good birthday, cat. Hey, that's not treats. <laughs> now the question, will the cats go, hey, that was a treat sound? I think they would. But then they quickly forgot as they got their catnip. Oh, so happy. You know they're happy when they're rubbing all over the carpet and rolling around. Sprite is like eating it. Tari's like, no, I just want to roll in it. But his asthma has gotten a lot better. We've been giving him um, inhalers. 
again regularly. So maybe he'll be okay. Maybe it wasn't the catnip and it was just in general. Okay, we're going back to the game. Level five. Maybe that break was good. No, it wasn't. <laughs> What am I doing? Okay, it wasn't good because I've forgotten how to play. There we go. Let's get back into the game. Okay, this one. Wait till the guy's gone. Then just jump. Whee! Okay, this one is very challenging. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up. Down, up. No, oh, they, oh, they separated. I waited too long. You got to do it right away as soon as they sync up. Oops. What am I doing? There we go. Why did I anticipate it? It gives me lots of time. Crazy cats. My evil plan has worked. Yeah, they're gone crazy. They have gone crazy cats. Gotta go immediately, like well before. Very happy about their catnip. They haven't had it in so long. There we go. Oh, it's such tight timing. Like there's a different way of doing that, but. Okay, Mr. Ghosts. Oh, way too early. Way too early. But when they sync up on the down, that's when you want to go because you... Because you jump over them. You don't jump under them. And VHZC games have taught me that. Like... It's the difference between jumping over and jumping under. And jumping under is usually much harder. Because you have that extra bit of time, or you don't have that extra bit of time. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. Damn it! Jump too high. I gotta be lower. Okay. Up. What? Opposite. Okay, we have to wait. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Okay, we're back to this nightmare, which I didn't pass. Okay. That guy is gone for a long time. Long enough? Long enough. Oh no, I did make it to this. Oh, this is so hard. In. Okay. <sighs> what dastardly thing is going on here? Oh my god. Okay. Make sure there's no other stupidity happening. Okay. <sighs> Can I just go up the ladder? Yes. Okay. Okay. Maybe this isn't too bad. There's enough time to crawl past that one easily. So I just have to wait till that one is... Oh, it has to time up, time up pretty good. No! A pixel too early! Oh! That one wasn't too bad to do. I just love that I was born in the A's, so games had a little more graphics. C64, DOS, and Amiga. Oh... It's about gameplay, though. Not graphics. But I got to experience that, too. We all get to experience the graphics now. And you get to experience 80s graphics, too. Or 70s graphics. Because um, you can play them later. Okay. 
Okay, that one's not bad. This one isn't too bad. Just a little bit of timing, and then we're back to the one I haven't done yet. But I think it's not too bad. See, that would have been the time to go. Not this one. I'll do the next pass. Okay, and he goes back. There we go! 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 Oh, good. He's the same speed as me. Okay, so there's a... Oh, God. There's a block. There's no safe spot. You would just have to run through that whole gauntlet. Okay, I'm safe there. How does this time up? 2600 games are capable of being more colorful. In fact, 2600 can put 128 colors on the screen at once, while the C64 has only 16 colors total ever. That is true. 2600 was so ahead of its time in terms of color. That it is um, that is one of, uh, one of its incredible strengths. Another one of its strengths, it can draw every line absolutely differently. Every horizontal line is a fresh new thing for the 2600. Um, it just had limited things you could draw with. It what it didn't have a screen buffer, which is a strength. Okay, if I go right after that disappears, I think there's enough time. Oh my God, that was just. Oh, we're getting into VHZC territory here. Will we be repeating a screen? Oh, we're going to be backtracking. That looks terrible up there. Oh, we... Oh, what? There are options. Maybe? Maybe options? There are options. Well, this is the impossible option. Uh, that looks terrible, too. Oh, I bet you run across there from ladder to ladder. Oh, and it gives you another chance and you can go back and do it all over again. Oh my God. Okay, so if I follow him, oh, I have to follow him and then jump over those two as he comes back. Okay. Okay. This, this is what looked bad. There's very few safe spaces. The only safe space is the... Oh, there is the ledge, but that's going to be nightmarish. There's only this ledge right here. Off. Off. Okay, do those sync up? Off. Off. Okay, that's not too bad. Off. Off. Okay. Oh my god. Really? Really? That tight a timing. Oh, 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 I'm gonna die. That's like no timing. That's so brutal. Even jumping at a distance, you get half a second clearance. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Right to the edge. Okay, right to the top. Right over. Jump. Okay, right to the edge. What? How do you do that? Did I mess up? Did I mess up? I hit the ceiling. Oh, do I have to go down a bit? And play with the arc? Ooh, even that's too far. It's so far. What? <sighs> Any ideas? <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, this wasn't too bad. It just looks really intimidating. <laughs> this is probably riskier than anything else. Okay. I made it to the first ladder, but if I was at the top, I hit my head and immediately fell off. Now, is there anything above this? 
that's what I was thinking. It's like, oh, is there something above that? It could be something above that ladder, but the only other option, if there's nothing above that ladder, is to do a slight arc. And I'm just going to go down a bit on the ladder. Anything? No, nope. you do have to do this. How far down, though? How far down? I don't know, Blackwa. Um, he says, you are correct. Graphics are not important, but this is too simple. I, I don't know. After a while, you don't pay attention to the graphics. And I find that even in modern games, you don't pay attention to the graphics. You pay attention to just the strategy and the controls and the goal. And this could be the prettiest looking game ever. And it would be the same controls. I've played modern aesthetic platformers like they're mo not modern retro modern aesthetic platformers and you just don't care about the graphics after a while <laughs> that's uh gamma dev said that's what always bugs me when people say the intellivision has better graphics not really the intellivision had a fixed 16 color and poorly chosen palette it was half the resolution of the 2600 and every pre-crash first party game ran at 20 frames per second well the 2600 has to run at 60 or it doesn't work well and in television was always limited eight freely moving objects on screen while the 2600 had five per line if you look look at the best homebrews on all the pre-crash consoles the 2600 is a cut above i do agree the only thing i think in television did better is it's Games got a little bit more, or during the original run, it, its games were a little more complex in, in, their, in their depth, in terms of like strategy games. I think it won in that only. Because the 2600 did have strategy games, but I think the Intellivision just went a little bit deeper. They had a lot more RPGs, like the AD&D games. Oh my god, they're so good. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. When you still pay attention to the graphics deep into the game, the game sucks. Agree. Okay, I'm going to jump from here. I don't expect to make it. Ooh, I don't want to jump too low because then my arc won't work. I think right about... Oh my god. I almost forgot to grab onto the ladder. Uh, right about there, I think. And I got to be right... Oh, what the hell? I pressed it. That's nowhere near! Oh, is this the kill screen? Is this the end of the game? What ha What did I take the wrong turn? What's going on? <sighs> oh no! Oh well, okay, let's go. Let's do it. And television had more RAM. Uh, that was corrected later on with the uh, 2600. So more RAM out of the box. So there was add-ons and cartridges had more RAM uh, later on. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. But they're both uh, good systems. The famous unbeatable kill screen. I don't. I don't know what to do there. Like most screens, I go, oh yeah, that's what I do. This one, I'm like, oh no, I I j didn't even make it. I don't think I hit my head, or I'll go up further up the ladder. But beyond that, I just don't know. Oh. Miss my chance. <sighs> oh, that was the time to go. <laughs> then it has an off one, and then it comes back, and this will be the one. Jump! Ah! You have to jump off a ladder. Oh, this one. This one was pure chance that I got it. Okay, the timing just happens to be good on that circle. That's the only reason I made it past. Okay, we're back. We're back to this. That's 
what it exactly happened to me last time, didn't it? My God, jumping at the wrong time. It's funny because I did it perfectly, like many times looping around. And I can't get it now. It happens. That's what happens. Oh, uh, I'm playing fast and loose. That's what gets you when you get too overconfident in games. You get a little too cocky. You push your luck. Or press your luck. <laughs> and, uh... And then you die. Up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, down. <sighs> Whee! Okay. Oh, didn't move far enough to the right to fall. Ooh, ooh, I almost hit the spike. Just the sink? No, it's the next one. Okay, here it is. Wait for the bottom ghost. Wait for the top ghost. Boom. Boom. Okay, that one. I know the timing now on that one. Not afraid anymore. 7,000 points left. That's also a VHZC hallmark of uh, the counting down. It's just a really good way of keeping score. What am I doing? I'm, I'm like not jumping off. I'm like running. Stupid. Wee. Oh my god. down, up, up, and go. Doodly, doodly. They are synced up. So that's good. If they were out of sync, those circles, oh my god. Oof, ooh, that was tight. That was tight timing. That was my opportunity. Okay. I'll wait for that one. I guess I could go when he's on that side. It really doesn't matter, but I'm just used to it now. Used to the way I do it, and it has worked for me, so. Seventy five hundred left. Yeah, I have to go boom, boom, really quick. Oh, I think I'm not timing it fast enough. That's the problem. <sighs> what is your major malfunction, private pile? Sir, I don't know, sir. <laughs> Do you like jelly donuts? Private pile. <laughs> well, everybody's going to do push ups while you enjoy your jelly donut. That's how I feel. <laughs> so I'm failing. Okay. Not failing. I'm doing pretty good. I'm on, I think I'm on the last level, but it's just so hard. <laughs> Sure, I'm misquoting that. Oh, bollocks. Which is not a totally bad swear word here in North America. But it's a bad swear word in the UK. But I'm not there, so I can say it. I have to put a parental warning for UK watchers. Warning, strong language.
closer. Closer. Closest. Could have gone then. Whee! No, I have to wait for the second round. The timing doesn't work out. Okay. Because this one I've gotten so good at knowing the timing that I'm doing it early. Interesting. But it just does... Oh my god. Not thinking of... Thinking of later screens. I have to jump as he disappears on this one. Anticipate it, because it takes time to do the jump. Up, 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 down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up, and go. Whee! Okay, it's not this one. The next one. I'm sure there's possibly a way to do that, but this is much easier because he's more at the top. Why not? Let's do that one early. No, I could have gone there. Why am I dying on the part that's not the hard part that I haven't figured out yet? I should not be dying there. I should not be dying here. I know what the problem is. Damn it! Damn it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, I don't even know what to do on the death screen. I don't know what to do. I have one more idea. That's it. No! Oh my god, I almost died. Just waited way too long for that. No! Charles Wynn says yes. Yes! <laughs> Unfortunately. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, down, down. Up, up, and go. That's when they're hugging. Wee. Not this one, but the next one. Oh, my hands are cramping up. From pressing to the right. <laughs> Wee. Hesitated, but worked out. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Let me look at this screen. I gotta be higher. Higher on the screen. Look how high I jump. So I have to be that far down from the top of the screen. To get... To get... To not hit the top of the screen. Is that my goal? I guess. I'm gonna have to count the rank, the the number of rings. Rungs. Oops. Number of rungs on the ladder. Death skulls. Oof. Oh my god, I'm panicking. Oh my god, I didn't think about the last part of it. <laughs> and I was like, ah! Okay, here we are again. I was about there last time, so I'm going to go up just a tiny bit. I'm going to die. How far? There. That's the maximum. But I don't necessarily want to be the maximum, because if I press to the right, then the button, it's not going to work, because I'll fall off. Oh, actually, I won't fall off, will I? You can't fall off a ladder. Ooh! So, if I press to the right, while I'm here, 
I'll get maximum ladder advantage, and I'm gonna time it with the top rung, my head on the top rung. Okay, that's about it. Oh, I hit my head. Okay, so if I need to be lower than that. Not the top rung. I'm gonna go for the second rung this time. If I can make it up that ledge. Whoa, whoa, ho, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my god, stupid error. I was just I just ran for it and jumped. Oh my god, this game. This game is not easy. Off! Oh, what am I anticipating? I have lots of time. It's not a timing issue on the jump. It's not a timing issue on the bottom guy. That give guy gives you lots of time. It's the top guy. The problem is, I think there's more after that ladder. I don't know. Oh, come on. It's jumping off the ladder thing. It's making me crazy. Ooh. Okay. They didn't quite sync up that time. They're so a little bit out of sync. Not this one, but the second one. A little early. A little early. Just by a pixel. So it does allow you to run as quickly as you want there. Certain, there's no secret to this. I have to jump over there. Oh, I wish I could just practice it, but I can't. There's just, you have to do this gauntlet every time. I have to jump right away. As soon as that guy goes down again, jump. Oh, that was dumb. Whee! Could have gone there. Here we go. Ah, <laughs> don't know what I did there. It was not what I usually do. Ooh, that was close to the spikes. No, God. Ooh, so sensitive. Oh, my arm hurts. <laughs> How long have I been playing for? Oh my goodness, there's notifications blocking the time. About two hours. About two hours, not that bad. It's just that I don't usually play the whole time during a stream. So it's actually my forearm. That's because I'm pushing to the right the whole time. Like every time I die, somebody drops off watching. <laughs> They're like, nope, useless. No, and then it builds back up again. That's funny. I 
no faith in me. I wouldn't either. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty far. I think I'm really close. That those those double ladders must be like the near the end of the game. looks deadly it but it's I seem to be able to do it quite oh should go there quite readily each time that dropping one at least I've got that one down one looks like it has tight timing and it does but you just have to go with the right time and you're and you're safe ah What did I hit my head? Arr! This game, this game. Oh, that was tight. Oh, that was tight. <laughs> the problem is. This game's so deadly. Getting to the hard parts is hard. That was tight. An exercise in stamina, pretty much. How long can you go? 5,000 points left. I thought it was a huge exaggeration of how many how much time they gave you at first but then i was like oh no you need this much time especially when you're first playing it playing it for the first run through you definitely the 20,000 24 was it it's been so long ago can't remember what it started with i think it was 24,000 Oh, that was just lucky. I just missed a whole bunch of things, just barely. Here we go. We're back at the ladders, boys and girls. The deadly, deadly ladders. Okay, I jump, jumped from this height and I hit my head. We're gonna go second rung now. <sighs> Wish me luck. Gonna go completely to the right. Gonna be pressing. Oh, I did it. And there's more. Okay, it's second rung. Okay, little break. Little break, a little bit of water. This is a relatively easy screen unless something's popping up all of a sudden. Um, it was lower, Thomas. Yes. Thank goodness. Okay. This one is dropping down at the right time which is I'm going to drop down when he's about just over halfway. Like there. There we go. Oh, of course. Okay. Oh, of course. Oh, of course. Oh, it's over. The long pain is over. Wee, woo, woo, woo. I'm going to celebrate now because... Oh, oh, it's over. It's over. Yeah, be careful. There was things there. There was. Oh, boss fight. Oh, if there was a boss fight before the end of this level, and then I had to do the whole level over again. What do you think, Atari? Is this the last part? Oh, there's no, there's no play field. Oh, God, my worst nightmare has come true. My worst nightmare has come true. <laughs> oh no. 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 Can you see, can you see it for a second? Is that um Oh, it's an emergency test on my phone. It's like wah, wah, wah. Okay. Okay. 
Now, is it going to be easier now, this level? Dark mazes. Dark mazes. That is my nemesis. So I'm going to have to take this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so high up. Is this a pit? Do I have to jump across? In oh, I will have to. Nope. No. Okay. Okay. Oh, I do have to. Oh no, this is, this is a nightmare. Is nightmare made real? Okay, I think it's right at the edge. Oh God. Okay, I'm safe here. <laughs> Why is there a lower part? The deeded dark lighted maze. These aren't even lit. These are nothing. They don't give you even a second of light. So there's a lower part here. Is there a platform all the way across? Are there pits? Oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Oh, what? What? No! Maybe I do have to go down? Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep. Okay. Okay. Is this the way out, though? <laughs> no, where's the egg? where's the exit? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Why, 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 why? Okay, it's right at the edge here. Right at the edge here. Oh my God. They should flash the screen lights on if you die, so you have some clue why. No debug mode colors. Well, I don't have the binder of this game, so uh, there would de be debug co colors. Oh, there's a ceiling! Oh. Oh. What's the dev dev's name? I must curse him. I forgot his name. John Mikula. Curse you, John Mikula. R77 to the rescue. Yes! Oh, I could. That'd be so cheaty. Plug in a keyboard on the R77. Turn on the debug colors and play it. But then I'd have to play the whole game over again. Okay. Now I, I know I, I need to... F you! I need to... Jump. So I know that there's a, a no ceiling. Before I get past that guy. But there's no way of knowing... Oh my god. There's no way of knowing where the pits are. And even if I know if I'm supposed to be going down the pits, is the exit at the top? Ah, ah, oh, okay. When can I jump? Okay, nope. I can't get back up there. Oh my God. Ah, okay. Can I get back up to try again? Nope. 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 There's where I fell down. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, can I get back up here? Even if I do, there's this guy racing around. Nope. Nope. No, it's... Oh! Oh, I can get back up here. Nope. Can I jump over that? No, it's going to be a wall. I already did try and do this. Your soul escaping the room should illuminate the room. Uh, your body should illuminate the room. Yes. There's only two non-ceilings here. Oh, this will help me, actually. But the exit's not on the left. So this is just death down below. Oh, my God. John Mikula curse your name. Why? Now the 4,000 is like critical. Oh my god. You can't get back up here. So where's the exit? Did I just, is it a mistake falling down there? Is it up there the exit? Okay, it's around the middle. It's it's there. Okay, do it again. 
Hey, open open AI finished it after a day of trying. Well, yeah, I bet it could. Oh, what? What happened? Did you already try jumping over the spike at the bottom when there's no ceiling above? I, I, I swear, if I fall down there again, which I will, I will try that again. Because there is no ceiling, which is weird that there's no ceiling there, right? Okay, I have to go right up to this. And jump very far. Okay. There's an opening right at the end, or very near the end. There's none past that, so I'm just going to follow this guy. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, it's... Ah, oh, I think I'm... D at this point, you're dead. Because there's... So it's like... Eight... Oh my god. Okay, so it's not as far as I think it is. No. Okay, let's try try this again. Oh, it is down there. I, I just died last time. I swear I hit my head. Okay. That's obvious. Oh, that's not obvious. Oh. Okay. 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 No! 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 What happens there? What is going on? Long jump. Long jump. You're supposed to fall down, so that's fine. You're supposed to fall down. Then you're supposed to fall down, which is fine. Then you jump. Okay, that screen's fine now. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, I was just still above the ceiling. That must have been it. Now what? I can't jump up here. There's probably a pit there. Oh, there isn't a pit there. Is there something up here? No. Something I have to jump across here. No. Ah! Oh my god. What? How did he... How did he not kill me for a second and then he killed me? Probably because of flashing. Where... Where's the path there? Oh. Follow him on the way back, yeah. Maybe I have to jump to the left after I go under that spike. I bet that's it. Because there's no path under there that I can find so far. This game, this game, just when I thought it was hard, it gets harder. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Oh, I can't, okay. But I do have to get past that spike. So there's, I think I've proved that there's nothing to jump to from here. This is open. I'm going to try it again. Nope. Ah! Ah! I got to jump out of there immediately. Okay, th I don't think there's anything to jump to from there. Like a cross. Follow. Jump. Over. Fall. Follow. Fall. That's easy now. Okay, nothing up there. Ceiling there. I have to jump. I have to, I have to fall down. And then jump, jump, jump. There's nothing, there's nothing. Ugh. Next level of reverse gravity. No, don't say that, Thomas. Don't say that. And the joysticks reverse too. How about that? Just to just to make it even worse.
Is he going to do all the all the typical things? The reverse? No, there's nothing. There's nothing. Oh my god. Have you ever seen those games that are made on purpose to be brutally hard? That's like this, where you don't know what you're doing at any point, and you just have to die to find out. Ceiling. Did I miss a jump there? Oh, I can go back. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to go when he's up. Nope, there's a ceiling there. No, it's a ceiling. I can't go. There's some. There's nothing here. There's a ceiling there. Special guest star, the bat from Adventure, that can go through walls. No, no. Is there a platform there? No, there's no platform there. There's a ceiling there. Oh, I'm hitting the wall there. Okay. Let's go back. Okay. There's 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 a ceiling there, but can I jump? up and over it. No. Oh, I forgot that the ledge goes down to that stupid spike. Any ideas? <laughs> Pretty much speed run this now. Or not. Didn't know he went that far. I will not do that again. Wait, then jump over. Okay, let's let's investigate this area. So there's nothing here. There is a platform here. Is there one there? No, it's a wall. Is there a platform to the left? There's a spike if I don't keep moving. No, you don't go up there. Nothing for cats up there. Just for humans. 30 more tries left. Super mono boy. Yep, there are... Um, I mean, kind of like meat, super meat boy. Hi. Do you want to lay down there? Birthday cat? Hey? Oh, did I die? Oh, the cat distracted me. I did die. 30 tries left. Are you calculating? Oh, don't calculate out how much time I have left based on... Um, how long it takes for me to, to die. Oh no, are you doing that? That's disappointing. Hi, birthday cat. What? Oh, I have to go right up to it. Oh, uh, that's what's killing me. Oh yes, you want pets. There you go. Can't go in my lap though. Because... Oh my god, this game... There's a real possibility now that I will not finish this game because of time. If you die when you get to zero. There's also a possibility that um, you don't die when it goes to zero. You just stay on zero. Okay, I have no idea what to do here. There's just... There, do I go to the ledge? The very, very ledge and then jump? That's possible. Ah, get back up. I'm not jumping. What's the problem here? Why am I not jumping? Nope. Nope. I hit my head. Nope. I hit my head. It must be another route. Uh, the odds of successfully navigating the invisible castle is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. That ceiling. I can't do anything about that. Ah, oh, what? I did not. I did not. Oh, my God. I think that might be the next thing to check is that area. Right here. Ooh. Nope. There's nothing there. 
And I can't get high enough to get over that spike. Because you can't jump on a spike. It is pure evil. Oh, I did it. I did it. It's up here. Okay. There's for sure going to be a stupid pit. That guy's not going down. Oh, I'm not close enough. Oh, no. Can I get back up? Okay, I can. Oh, do I have to be here? Oh, I bet I have to be here. Oh, my God. Okay. Now what? Uh, am I dead now? Did I just fall off the... Oh, you... You game. Oh, no. Okay. 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 We're back. We're back. We're back. We're back. We're not back. Oh, my God. Uh... Oh, kittens. Help me with your special ability to see in the dark. You're not helping. You're not offering any assistance. Why aren't you offering assistance? Okay, I think I remember how to get there. Yeah, I do. Hey. No, one more up. One more up? No. There we go. That's right to the edge. Okay. I think I got it. This one you just fall down because, well, that's what happens. Okay. Then there's something here. And I hit my head there. That's what killed me last time. But there, then where do I go? I can't jump over that. Or can I? Ooh. Oh, you can. Just barely. Okay. So I go here. Ah! Do I walk across? What's going on? No. What? 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 Is this not the path? Is this a fake path? Ooh, there's nothing there. Jump! There's nothing there. Ah! Nothing there. Oh, is that a fake path? Oh, you bastards. Oh, here's the real path. Okay, it's in the middle. No, it's not! Oh. Does this feel like a sword quest challenge where you need the eyes of pan panotopes to pass? A little bit, but I don't think there is even the eyes of panotopes to help you out in this game. 2,000 left. No, I jumped too early. Oh my god. Okay. We're, we're at least getting somewhere. That gives me hope. Funny that I've, like, memorized the invisibilities now. Oh, that was a bit early of a jump. As if there's, like... Come on. Okay. Now what is going on with this level? Can't go down there. Can go here. But I just hit a wall here. There's ceilings here. I don't want to jump there. Is there another level over the cone past that ladder? Because I just hit a wall when I go there. Oh, 17,000 left. 1,700 left. Well, we'll find out when it goes to zero, I guess. Because I don't see myself... Uh, finishing however many levels that this game has on the dark level. The dark level. Oh, no! Oh, I made all the wrong moves. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Such a cute birthday cat. Oof. Now that could be something new to the Atari could do. Finish the sword quest contest complete with the three missing uh, prizes. Ooh, that sounds expensive. Um, they did make the last... They they did make an air world. Is that the one that's missing? Um, so they did do that. But people 
I think it's it's different and there's no prize, so people aren't really considering it. The last one. Now I'm thinking maybe there's something down on the right hand side of that cone. Now I fell down last time. <gasps> maybe you do fall down. No! But there was a ledge there. So I'm going to fall down and then go to the left because you couldn't go to the right. Oh my god, this game. This game. This, this was the normal one. It just like it's so sim similar. Um, okay. What was it? Oh, it was down this ladder. And then I'm thinking you fall down and go to the left. Oh, I'm safe here. Ah! There's nothing there. There's nothing there. Ah! <gasps> Ooh, how did I survive that? Probably from blinking. 13. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, I can get out of that pit, but there's nothing. There's just... There's nothing else. Oh, I pushed to the right, so there's nothing past that cone. It's just a wall down to the cone, so that is not it. So at least I proved something while dying. It's something to do with that ledge over there. So the missing three prizes of the Philosopher's Stone, the Crown, and the Sword total cost in 1983 was $100,000. That would be about $300,000 today. Not such a huge amount, all things considered. You could probably raise that on Kickstarter and think of the publicity. Hmm. Not a bad idea, but what would you get from a Kickstarter campaign from that? Okay, let's do this. Okay. It's this. There's a drop-down ledge that you can get out of. Maybe I have to jump up to the right. Well, there's no time. Would it be better to jump? Damn it. I'm going to die. Because there's no time to do anything. It's There's some opening there. And I don't know where it is. It's not straight across, because I've tried that. And it's not safe there, unfortunately. It's got to be like... I'm just going to do it when he goes down and press to the right. And do my biggest jump I can. Just like, just get on the ledge there. Come on, get on the ledge. There we go. No, I fell down! It was too close to the ledge. <laughs> Nightmare mode. Nightmare mode. We're playing nightmare mode. Nine. We're under a thousand now. It's a mystery what happens after that. It's just death. Death everywhere. Oh. No. Okay, what did I figure? Um, it was go down here, then go to the ledge, but not too close to the ledge. There we go. Jump over when he's going down and just press to the right. 
no, there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Oh, what is it? 100 per death. Oh no, he is calculating. Thomas has got his calculator out and he is predicting my death. So it's 100 per death. So I've got five turns go to go. I don't think it looks good because there's definitely screens after this that I'm going to die on because I have no idea what's going on in the dark. <gasps> no. Oh, come on. It's a big jump. <laughs> ah, here we go. Is it across there? No, it is not. I'm going to have to go back to the top again. But there's nothing there at the top. It makes... Oh, it makes sense going to the top because you have to jump over that pylon. That cone. And it's hard to do that. So it makes sense for them to... For, for John to program that in. But in a dark maze, you want dead ends. You want trickery. <sighs> if I die early, it's not one life per. <laughs> one life per 50. Here we go. Again. Oh, don't die on that. Okay, we're going to do this. Again. We only did it kind of once. I went right up to the edge. There's a ceiling. Maybe if I go right to the edge, like the very, very ledge. No, there's nothing there. It's just, it's just nothing. Oh, there's just, I think I proved that out last time. There's literally nothing there. I can't push to the right. It's a wall and I can't jump up. It's got to be this part. Unless there's something. And and that cone, there's a wall all the way down to the cone. I proved that. It's got to be here. There's nothing more down here. I think I walked across here. There's nothing. So there's no fall down. There's a wall there. There's a ledge here. There's a ceiling there. Maybe if I jump from here, because I don't hit the ceiling as much. Yes. That's the only thing I haven't tried, I think. Ooh, if I go to the right and jump. Oh my god, there it is. Jump up to the right from the bottom position. You got it. That was it. Okay, what's happening here? Probably my death. Okay. Oh, there we go. I knew it. Oh, no. Is that good? Is that good? That's not bad. Can I... 95. This will be the one where we find out if I die at zero. Damn it. I mean, in the dark, it's it's super easy once you figure out what to do, because you just do it. Um, I think you have to stay up here, though. That makes sense, because... Oh, that's where it all goes wrong. This is probably a pit. Oh, no, no. Oh, I can't get back. Oh, thank goodness. 30 seconds left. I have to jump before that. Oh, 20 seconds left. Or 20 counters. Did I make it? No. Didn't quite make it. I didn't jump. 
where's the pit, though? Three, two, I'm just gonna wait. Oh, I can keep going. Okay, good. There it is. Okay, it's just before the pylon. So we will see the end of this game. Well, we'll see. Damn it. Pressed it just a second too late. Oh, don't go back. No, no, no. Don't want to go back to those levels. <gasps> what? Maybe it is over here. Oh. No. It's got to be over that guy. That doesn't make any sense. But I don't seem to land anywhere. Oh, that, that seems like it was the best jump yet. Like I can't, oh, oh, nope. Nope, it's a wall there. There's nothing here. And there's definitely nothing there. It's just a pit. <sighs> what am I missing here? So if I run, I fall. If I jump, that seems to make sense, but I never seem to get to a ledge. Like, that's the best jump I can do. Ah, where is it? Left up? Oh! Yes, that's something I've not tried. Thank you. Oh, no! Oh my god! Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all fine. We know how to get there. No panic. Nobody needs to panic. Cats, don't panic. Bring your towel. Okay. What was this again? Oh yeah, it was this. And you fall down. And then you die. You do it while he's down. Not up. Doesn't give you enough time. I'm sure finishing with the 0, zero, zero is a new high score. Um, since the only people that have this are... Um, like streamers. And stuff like that. YouTubers. Um, and unless they pre-recorded it and played it. Like... This is the first day I've ever played this game. I didn't play it beforehand. Um, so I... People could have played this game before and, like, recorded them finishing it. That's a complete possibility. <laughs> or did I? Oh, yeah. Ooh, that's close, too. Oh, my God. Oh! Who is that? Beef Supreme! Welcome! Yeah, uh, invisible maps are absolutely cruel. But I'm back to where I was before. Okay, that's open. Oh, my God. So, Thomas, you're saying go to the right and then jump up there? There's nothing there. There's nothing there to grab onto. I don't know if that's it. Oh, my wrist. Sorry. Um, thank you for following uh, Alex Tiger 71. Glad you're enjoying the torture. <laughs> okay, what am I going to do here? I followed him and jumped and there's not there's no ledge there. Um there's nothing above cuz I'm not hitting anything. Maybe if I jump but I've jumped and I've not caught onto a ledge above him. There's nothing up. There's nothing up there. Um, I mean, it's hard to say that there's nothing up there because 
and there's just a pit down there. I mean, I can go explore the pit some more. I'm going to do one more jump. Oh, I didn't jump. Like this pit. No, I've explored that pit so much. Maybe it's up here? No! Oh my god. There is... There's something up here. Oh. What is... What is up here? There's the ledge there. Like there? Oh, that might be. What are you doing in there? Psst, psst, psst. Get out of there! Psst, psst, psst. Psst, psst, psst. Bad cats. Yeah, I think maybe there's something on this ledge, right? There. No, don't think so. No, I think it's just open. Yeah, it's just open. It's a bad cat. It's got to be something here. Oh, Alex Tiger, you're welcome. Wednesday I received my 2600. Have fun with the new game. Excellent. <sighs> Any ideas? I don't, I don't know what to do. What are you doing? Bad cat. Hmm. Alex, did you make it past this level? Please help. Please help. Send help. Uh, jumping at the last moment is the best possible thing you could do. If my package should include the cart, I will try and dump it and plant a PC with the rewinds. Even that's torturous. You have to get to here. Uh, well, I didn't jump there. That's an issue, but... Ugh. Millisecond too late. Uh, and I jumped at the wrong time there. At least I know exactly how to make it back now. If I, unless I jump wrong. I just, I know how to make it back. It's executing it. But the screens where you just have no... Am I jumping way too early? Where you have, just have no clue where the path is. And everything you try seems to be a dead end. That's the hard part. I go over or under this one, Atari? Hmm? It's very tight both ways. I think I'm gonna go under. Nope. I'm gonna go over. It's just not enough time. Eh, dead. Note, never play it. I ordered Berserk, but see your gameplay. Let me think. It's an awesome jump. Uh, jump and run. I want to order with the other stuff. Uh, it's far greater than the preview on the website. It is, yeah, the the preview on the website did not do this game justice. It is much more difficult, much more in depth than I ever thought it would be. This is a huge challenge for people who really like platformers. They will not be disappointed with the difficulty. Because it is... Brutal. No! Brutal. As I say brutal, I die. So I'm currently... Oh, what? I wasn't looking. About just over two and a half hours in on the game. I'm on the fifth level? Fifth? Seems about right. And unless he's really torturous, this is probably the last level. What? I just jumped across this guy. What am I thinking? I'm thinking of the next level. That's what I'm thinking of. Where you can drop down. It was over, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's much. Oh, yeah, you can just jump up to it. Okay. Now, what what, what am I doing here? I totally forgot. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Someone should really iron out the technical depths, depths of the game. Technical depths? Depths? Oh, you pre-ordered it. There you go. There you go, Atari. Paid for itself. <laughs> my playthrough. You give me a free copy. Um... just gonna have to jump over this guy again and just keep trying that I d there's no other path unless I'm missed something like there <gasps> is that new no that's not new ceiling 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 nothing a b wall is there another spot nope that's just I, I just don't see any other path. <sighs> can you fall down differently from there? I mean, I can... I'm pressing to the right after I jump over him, and if there's any opening in the wall, I should be going into the opening. Going to the left won't help because all that's explored. Uh, not necessarily. There could be a tiny platform there. Um, it's highly unlikely, just the way the game has, like, the layouts are very chunky in this game. But um, there's possibility mid way down, there's a platform that I can stand on that, uh, that'll allow me to jump over. It's worth a try because there's nothing else that's happened that's worked. Of course, I pull left too early. Too much jump over the ghost and no wall, but sure in some position there is. Hmm. Yeah, there's something. Oh, I didn't go far enough. There's some opening in the wall on the right-hand side. It's, it's possible that there's an opening at the top of the screen. It's unlikely, but it's possible. That one seems so easy now. <laughs> uh, but I... So far I haven't found any. There's no ledge there. Let me try again. No. Like, over... That would be really dumb to have an opening up there. I think I'm gonna try again for the falling down, moving left strategy but i just can't pull left too quick nope nope there's nothing there there's nothing there <gasps> i did it okay you there is a ledge it's just the timing is oh it's the end oh if there's a pit here you don't, 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 don't even think about it. How do I get there? Oh, what? Oh, is it a fake out? This is not the end. When you die, you go back this far. You go back to the beginning of the level you're on. There was no way that that was the ladder out. 
It was just like, oh, I'm done. No, you're not. You have more torturous levels. Okay, what am I doing here? Oh, that was dangerous. Okay. I can jump over him from here? Maybe. I might hit my head. I think I'm going to jump from below. No, there's a wall there. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Thrust says, now I'm running out of time. Yeah. It's a long one. Stop it. Stop it. Cats, give me strength. That's the one you drop down. Damn it. God damn it. There's too many that are similar with a guy on the right-hand side blocking the exit. Confusing them. I can't believe I've made it this far on a dark level. I thought I would have given up. This is not my jam. Dark levels. This one's the drop down? No. Yes, it is! Oh! I thought I went far enough. the drop down one don't mess it up oh my god what didn't grab the ladder i was pressing i always tell tanya well the game says otherwise <laughs> the game didn't say you were pressing so doesn't care what you say only cares about what you do over. Now what is this one? I totally forget. Oh yeah, it's the insanely torturous one. Where you have to really go far. Damn it. But at least it gives you another chance and you don't fall into a pit of impossibility. Oh. Knowing this game, that's ending will be like the descent. Uh, Alex Tiger, I had a video pack G7000 when I was young and a minor game with an invisible level, but the same as visible one in one screen. This is a, this is beyond imagination. It's it's a lot. Oh, you don't have much of a runway there. That's the problem. Like it's it's like halfway between where I am. Or the Oh, not enough. Oh, I made it. Okay. Nope. <laughs> you can't. There's nothing up there. It's total fake out. Unless you just fall to the bottom. And this one, you stay up and jump over him because there's a stupid wall there. And it doesn't matter if he's tall or not. There we go. Okay, there's something up here. Oh my god. Okay, I made it. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Okay. I bet you just go along the bottom here. 100%. Because the ghost is down there and that thing touches the ground too. If there's some blockage in the way... Oh my god, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to test it out first. Oh! I thought I was going to fall! Pit of impossibility describes this very well. Yeah. Okay, at least I know every level up to that one, I know how to do. It's not a case of... Once you've solved the level, it's, it's fine, because you know where to go. Like, if this was a visible level, all of these were visible levels, they wouldn't be, like, super crazy hard. They'd be challenging. They'd still be, like, there's some timing and stuff. But they wouldn't be crazy crazy. But I keep forgetting what this one's about. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the wrong timing. Wrong timing. Come when he goes towards you. Nope. Oh, that was close. Damn it. <sighs> it's so hard because you can't even see the edge of the screen to judge where you are. How close you are off the screen. Oh, what? That's been a long time. Imagine when I would play this game, the frustration of this level. It's beyond. It's out of control. I know what you want. Oh, I know. Your cat ways. Maybe. Maybe in a second. It is your birthday. Okay, kitties. It has been long enough, I guess. Yeah, it's time for some treats. There, oh, that's way too many. We're not getting any more today. That's way too many. Okay, what, what am I doing here? What's going on? Oh yeah, I'm at the bottom. game everybody this game what is this one i always forget because it's like what there's nothing here atari says i can has birthday cake yes you can has not exactly the game for the 2600 part plus target customers it's i mean at the beginning it is kind of a pick up and play a lot of old like classic atari 2600 games they just go forever like, this one definitely has an ending. Um, would it be, like, a enjoyable pick-up-and-play game? I don't know. This is in the genre of games that have endings, and the other ones are play till you just die. It gets too fast. Okay, let's do this. Oh, I did it. Oh, my God. Okay. I really want to get up to that ladder. <laughs> no, it's not happening. It's so frustrating. Okay, what happened last time? I hit that guy, didn't I? No, oh, you have to fall. No! Alex Tiger, I'm from Rome, Italy, and in my building there's a cat identical to Sprite. Oh, I mean, and I love him. 15 year old cat. Oh. Are you hoping for a QR code that acts like a golden ticket? That would be interesting. Gave a QR code. Of course, I'm streaming it, so everybody gets the Q. Everybody gets the QR code. It's a oh, it's a communal QR code where everybody wins. That would be very interesting. I mean, um, Audacity did QR codes, but the QR code isn't enough. You have to have um, a login as well. And then you use the QR code. And it's matched to your cart.
What is this one? I just jump across, right? Yeah. Keep forgetting. Uh, right. Fall down here. This one, I just stay up here. Jump. Ooh, I did it. First try. To press it like at the it's a big jump you have to do it the very last second but not too last second because then you'll fall oh, okay. jump ladder please <laughs> that's a big wall there for sure now here no okay mr guys Okay, there it is. That's the height. Is there something up above, maybe? No. You just got a bunch of treats. You lay down. <laughs> huh? It's a race to the get to the website. You have your QR code uh, uh, phones, or your QR code readers on your phones ready? <laughs> Don't have to have them ready yet. Um. Okay, I'm at the edge of this platform. I'm gonna jump over this guy. I'm gonna jump over when he's low, even though it may not help. I'm just gonna jump straight to the right. Oh, did I do that last time because I was right on the edge? Oh, I can't be right on the edge. Oh, sorry, Cass. Freaked them out from my frustration. Poor jumpy cats. Poor jumpy cats. <sighs> Press too late. If you're on the edge of a platform, you, can, you don't want to be too much on the edge. You do want to keep holding to the right. Don't let up on the right unless there's the danger there. Okay, fall down. Jump over, dude. Be on the ledge, but not too close to the edge. Ah, oh, I did it. Okay, now what? Oh, yeah, I've been past this. What am I doing? Uh, I think the initial vertical position at the next screen matches the exit position. Okay, I think I walked right through this. Now, can I walk through this without falling? I don't think so, so I'm going to walk through it when the ghost is on that side, like right now. Yep, I it. And there's a ceiling! <laughs> when did I fall? Pretty much right after it. So I bet there's a... I bet there's a ledge there. Oh my god. Alex Tiger, I have two albatross joysticks for my C64 and, and, and you use a fight stick. Suppose they're better than a basic Atari joystick for this. Oh, thrust is gone. Says good night. Good night, Thomas. Yeah, it would be uh, three plus eight. And getting, getting late. It is a, it is a school night, so... Makes sense. I'm sure you don't want to watch this forever. Oh my god. You had plenty of treats. You're not getting any more. You will be fed at four, which is in an hour, so don't don't you start up. Per cat. Oh I know, I know, I know. I know you're perpetually hungry. Oh, such strong purrs. It's trying to guilt, guilt me into it. Oh, all these levels. 
All these levels. Oh, that was wrong time to jump. What's the fallacy called <laughs> when you don't want to give up because you've invested too much of your time already in, in the thing? It's usually in, in bad things. It's like, oh. Um, sunken cost fallacy. That's what's happening with this game. Sunken time, sunken cost, you got it. <sighs> ladder, ladder out of here. It's a bad, it's a bad spot. Okay, what happened last time? Oh, I, did I not jump again? No, I made it past this. What am I talking about? You just want to make sure you have enough time to jump. Yeah, that, that's 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 easy. This one, this one is bad. This is a bad level. Okay, I fell down before I could get across. So I've got to run, and then as soon as I make it to where that diamond is, where it crosses my path, I'm gonna jump, and I'm gonna jump after that skull goes past, just after. No, nope, I should have jumped a little bit earlier. A little bit earlier. Well, no. Oh my god. I made it somewhere. I'm safe. Oh. Okay, I'm on a ledge of some sorts. I can't go up. I'm gonna wait till... What? Oh, what? It's like jump and nightmare, yes. Not jump and run, jump and nightmare. Oh, what is happening? Where's the ledge? There's not even a ceiling here. Do I have to go under? Oh my god. Under? No, there's no under. There's nothing here. Oh no! It's like up above somewhere. Ugh. This is too hard. There's no ledge in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna have to... I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, that was dangerous. Have to get to the middle somehow? Oh, okay, 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 okay. There's a ledge in the middle. And I bet there's... You know, there's nothing up there. Okay, I'm going to have to jump across, and it's going to be a big jump. I have to jump. No, there's a ceiling there. What the hell? Ah! Should give myself more time. Okay, I've made some progress on that level. It's just the, you have to start all over again. On that screen. You just have to start all over again. That is the bloody annoying part. I mean, it's fair. It's old school hard. It's, it's easier than old school hard. Old school hard, we'd have lives. Or you'd run out of time and you'd be like, yeah, you're done. Is this one I jump across? No. You know he's gonna make you zigzag across the whole side of the screen. No way. You think I have to jump up to the left again? Yes. Because I hit a wall when I jumped. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh. It's so hard because there's very specific timing on this one. Not timing. Well, timing of the jump. 
Oh, that was close. Ladder, please. Exit, please. Fall down. Here it is. Okay, so there is a middle platform. I might be able to jump to it right from here, but maybe not. Oh, ah! what did I do before? How did I get there? those of you just tuning in, this is Mr. Run and Jump. It is a nightmare on level five. <laughs> it's, uh, oh my god, not too bad before this. <laughs> Still a nightmare, but uh, it's a different kind of nightmare because it's all dark on level five. Oh my god. This will be shipped out to people on Friday, so this is kind of a preview of it. <sighs> Where's the edge? There. <sighs> Almost. Atari gently lays upon you, a uh, paw on your arm and says, this is an intervention. Uh, that would make sense why the diamond bounces around like that instead of just up and down. Yeah. A diamond level better be the last level. Because it's going to be full of pits that I'm going to have to memorize. I already know where some things are, but not everything. Oh, my God. Can I just pretend that I finished the game and sit on this level? <laughs> Level of death. Okay, if I fall down, there is... Maybe I want to fall down. Maybe I want to fall down. Not like that. Damn it! Because then I can make it to the right-hand side. And on that ledge, and then I can jump up from that ledge. I think I'm going to try for that, because it kind of almost worked. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, maybe... Oh! I think you have it correct, Gamma Dev. You have to backtrack to the ladder. Up to the left. So you still have to go up to the left, but that's your actual destination, not to the... Oh my god. Uh, not to the um, right. That makes the most sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, I think you got it. still hard. But at least you don't... It's harder to die on it. <sighs> pressing it just a bit too late. You can hear me pressing it, but it's because I've already fallen off. <sighs> it's such a tight jump. It's one of those really hard jumps at the beginning, except you can't see where the ledge is. Ah, oh, I jumped, but it was too early. just have to throw that spike down there just in case you feel sa too safe. <sighs> so it's this tight timing be between jumping and not jumping. <sighs> That's right, Atari. It's, it's hard. 
I thought this game was going to be a walk in the park. But I was wrong. Anybody that gets a score in this game above zero is is really good, <laughs> especially the first try. Oh, come on. I thought I had it. Come on! Oh, finally. Oh, Gamma Devs, I hope that 2600 plus doesn't have any lag or else no one will be able to finish um, this. Well, you also have to make sure your TV is set to game mode. So I hope they include that because if it's not set to game mode, there is some extra processing. I'm sure they have that in the instructions. I'm sure every pla uh, console has that in its instructions now, set to game mode. Okay, here we are, back again. So, I want to follow the ring as soon as it passes me, but as soon as that ghost is past me, too. Oh, he can't. Oh, oh, there's a safety ledge here. Not when the ring's going around, but there is a safety ledge. That will allow me to do it. Oh my god. The t trouble is that you have to go through all this every time. You want to try something new. Ah! I think I'm going to tweet at the developer after I finish this game. You bastard. With, with a screenshot of the game being finished. No. Oh, yeah, you can stay on that side. Oh, my God. Come on. Hi. I don't think the 2600 plus will have any lag. I didn't feel, I didn't uh, notice any lag when I was playing it at PRG, the 2600. I didn't play it very long. Um, but uh, but I was playing with a paddle and uh, didn't feel any lag. So, but you would have to set your television just like any other, what, what is happening? Any other um, game system. This again. That doesn't help. Lay down. We're going to have to kick you out. It's still an hour for your feeding. I know at 3 o'clock you go crazy. But you have to wait till four o'clock for your food. That's when your lunch is. Yeah. Because I can't do that if you're jumping over the joystick. Oh, it's hard enough. This game is hard enough as it is, kitten. Oh. Yes. Okay, can I like put a, a save point <laughs> somewhere? Save point, please. Oh, don't be pathetic on stream. They're gonna feel really bad for you. He does this every single day, so don't feel bad for this cat. He gets fed exactly on time. You have great resistance. After all this trying, uh, I would sure quit. You deserve a medal. Oh, thank you. Hopefully there's a patch for this game. There isn't. Um, 
Well, this is what I do. I stream, stream games. And when you're this far in and there's no save point and there's no saving in the game, this is all like, I wouldn't want to play. Like this is a lot to do again. Hi. Three and a half hours now. Here we are, kitten. Am I gonna have to kick you up? Okay, let's try the strategy of going down, don't bite me. Going down here, where I'm safe. That, there, that's, that's when I would do it. There, okay. Now I have to get up on that platform. Now where's, where's the ledge? Actually, probably more dangerous. Yeah, there we go. Alex Tiger, you will see I'm a streamer too, and if I play this game, I'll surely not pass as easily as you. I mean, one of my play favorite genres is platformers, so I I love I love this. I don't I don't really like the dark part of this, but um, I love platformers, so that helps a lot. Okay, I'm gonna wait till the ghost goes away. Okay, okay, there's a wall here. Okay, okay. Get close as I can, and I'm just gonna jump up, and for sure there's a something up there. And if there isn't, I'll make sure I jump when the ghost is on the right-hand side, and that just passes me. Okay, that's pretty close. Should I get closer? Yes, okay, that's as close as I can get. But I should back off in case the ledge is right there. Okay. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god, there's gonna be pits! There's gonna be a pit here. There's gonna be a pit here. Okay. The next screen over is the end of the game. <laughs> and deceptively, it's like, oh yeah, just run across. But there's no way to know where the pits are. The only thing I can do... <clears throat> is walk across, find out where the pit is while avoiding the ghost. And when I fall, make sure I am pressing to the right. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I just have to do it. I just have to fall. I have to follow that ghost. Yep. Oh God. Back, back, back. Oh no. Okay. Where was that? I fell down pretty early. Do you think it's just a ledge and then it's back up? Learn by dying, yeah. This was a long episode of the Squid Game. Yes, it was. Oh, okay. It, I fell. Where did I fall? I'm going to the replay on this. I just can't. I just can't. I can't do it. I just can't. Oh, let's, let's silence that. Okay. You guys won't see it, but yeah, I might, I might pay sticky notes. Okay. There I am looking distraught. <laughs> uh, okay. Move. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. So I move across and where I fall is exactly where the first guy is. And then there's a platform there. Okay. 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 I think I've got a strategy. Okay. I do have to do this again, but I know I have a strategy here, thankfully, as well. Is fall there and then go then hop and then go as far as I can and then go then there's one more ledge then it's smooth sailing okay so the first drop down is at 
the first guy. Which digit of the score is the pit? The pit is is pretty much at zero. But it's not a pit all the way down. It's just a ledge down. And then if you go to the right, then you fall down. So I'm guessing it's uh, symmetrical. <clears throat> so another step up would be at the next zero. So what I want to do is follow that ghost across the screen. Oh, I don't know where that... Okay. I kind of want to go there, follow him across the screen, and then jump up there. Please don't be no, another pit, you bastards. Okay. Now there's a chance. Okay, this is the end screen. This has to be the end screen of the whole game. Has to be. Now is he going to be a bastard? And put some pits on the way to that ladder. It, going by how the game has progressed, yes, he's going to be a bastard. Right, Cat? Yeah. Or he could be like, I'm going to make you think I'm a bastard and not put any pits, so you're freaking out. <gasps> okay, I made it. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that was torturous. Oh my god! Happy birthday, Atari! Oh my god! Oh, Alnifer, you stuck for the whole time. Oh, thank you. Channel Gorf. Hello! Oh my god, I did it. I rescued my doggy! Hooray! Just need to hack so that it's a kitten next time. Finally dances. I did it in 3.45, something around that. I'm going to have to go for time because the points are at zero. <laughs> they're gone. To, they're long gone. Put that dog on a leash. Absolutely. Sprite, just in time for lunches for you guys. Hey, just in time. Oh... Oh my god, that was one of the most torturous levels of any game I've ever played. Having to play through the levels, not knowing where anything is, then having to memorize every single level on it, and then deal with the difficulties of each level. Oh my god, now a speed run. That's my speed run. Zero, 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 zero. My speed run is the time. That's what I... That's what you have to go by. Oh, somewhere around three hours. Um, oh, my clock of broadcasting time um, is 3.53. And I probably started about 15 minutes in. A little 15-minute preamble before that. Ah, missed the middle part, yeah. Um, so what do I think of this game? Superb platformer absolutely top of its game kind of platformer it's got everything you want even the uber hard level level five um if you are a, a person who likes platformers here you go there's timing there's precision pixel perfect jumping um there's coordination there's a dark level there's memorization there's some backtracking um, not as much as VHZC's backtracking. I would say VHZC's um, platformers are a 10 out of 10. Uh, if I had to give this a score, it would be right up there, a 9. Um, there are the, There is the problems with the flickering. The only color is the heart. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Um, the only technical issues that I can see is the flickering. does not affect the game whatsoever. Um, and the screen transitions... Um, it, it may, depending on how the 2600 plus handles it, this may cause a problem on, uh, LCD screens, like modern screens, but I'm guessing that the 2600 plus has a screen buffer so that it won't. Intelligent flicker for the win. Yeah. But beyond that, uh, I think I can overlook those those issues, those minor, you know, graphical glitches, 
because the game is so good. If the game was bad and it had those, it'd be like, no, no, no. 2600 runs Stella. Yes, it does. Um, oh, yeah, so Stella would, would smooth those over. Or I hope they've had the settings for Stella. They would have them on player settings, which is so forgivable. So, yeah, Stella would be fine with this. Yeah, so that's true. I didn't think about that. It's not actually playing it. It's emulating it. It's an emulator, not a hardware emulator. If it was a hardware emulator, it would be doing what my system would be doing, and there would be screen dropouts. And unless you had an upscaler that would be smoothing those over, then you'd be in trouble. But because it is running Stella, Stella is doing the smoothing over. And uh, and then it, it would be fine. Okay. So thank you for sticking with me, all those people. Uh, I only had to watch back one thing <laughs> to where it drops off. And even then, I, I kind of knew where it was already. It was where that, um, that poppy up guy was on the bottom. Um, so I probably didn't need that if I, was, if, I was, if I didn't have that. But I just wanted to confirm because I really, really didn't want to do that over again. Um, so would I recommend this? Yes. If you love platformers, this is a great platformer. If you uh, get frustrated <laughs> very easily, ooh, maybe not. It, it, it's You'd be probably fine for the first three levels. Start a rumor that the first person with the non-zero score gets a prize. There you go. You've started the rumor. Um, but I'm definitely going to tweet. Tweet at the... Uh... I'm going to go see if anybody has completed it first. Um, because... This might be like the first first person to complete it. But anyway, um, thanks for hanging in with me, uh, hanging out with me, uh, one or the other, uh, on this unscheduled, uh, what day is it? Wednesday stream. Um, it was a lot of fun playing this game. And I hope you had fun watching. Don't know about that. Probably very frustrating watching. It was frustrating me playing these hard, this last fifth level. Fourth level was hard. Then they throw you in the dark and make it just as hard. Well, not just as hard, but hard. Um, so thanks for hanging out with me. Oh, where's my screen? Let's switch over. Let's switch over back to the chat on the big screen. Thanks for hanging out with me, Gamma Dev, Al Nefer, Dan AVC, uh, Channel Gorf, uh, Alex Tiger, BR Pocock, uh, Thomas, who left just before, just before I finished. <gasps> That's too bad. He'll, he'll be able to see it later. I wonder if he thinks I'm going to give up. I don't do that. Unless I know I can't do it. Beef Supreme, Charles Whelan, uh, Dan AVC, I think I've said, uh, Blackwa, um, Splendid Nut, and everybody else. He was unlucky for you. Um, he was here most of the time. Um, and everybody else who was watching. And um, I guess thank you to Atari for letting me play this early um, and, and give me the cartridge to give a little preview of the game. It is not going to spoil anything because it's hard as hell. Like, I knew what I was doing after I played the level, and it's still hard. So there you go. You're welcome. I follow you since YouTube, but never know you're on Twitch. Check my channel, too, for Atari streaming soon. Awesome. Uh, that's awesome. You're a streamer as well. I'm glad you tuned in. Um, hope you enjoyed it and hope you'll be back. And um, so we're going to be back on, well, at the latest, we're going to be back on Friday with Erlen. We're still planning on doing um, Atari ST conversions to Jaguar games because uh, there's a lot of great ones. Really enjoy with the cat. This guy is Sprite. He's the black kitten. And that the, that you said you knew a cat that looks like him. And that guy is Atari down there. And it's his birthday today. He's eight years old today. It's for as close as you can estimate a cat's uh, age. Um, so we... Thanks for hanging out. Glad I made it to the end. I like it when I complete the game. Um, it was a longer game, but I have played longer games. And uh, we will see you again on Friday. Make sure you follow this if you're not already following it and you've just tuned in. Because uh, we play um, old school games on classic consoles. And uh, we will see you again soon. Bye-bye, everyone.